take my stuff to my father. I said you're trying to get back at me, huh? No, that was not what happened. Then what happened? It was not intentional, I swear. Rebecca, come on, just. This is demeaning for human beings. I mean, how can you allow them to use this under the sun, under the rain? I'm sorry, Majesty. Look, I, I'm giving you one week. Uh, hi. I hope uh, you're okay. Yes, I'm sorry, Your Highness. Wait, wait a minute. What is that? It's that I got from Prince Leonard's bedroom. Your Majesty. Where did you say you got that from? From Prince Leonard's bedroom, Your Highness. There are others there. So, this boy has been... Take one of the things. Bring them to me. What is this idea you want? I should be asking the service. I didn't even know what it contained. You fool! Must you trash everything you see? I'm sorry, my prince. Like I told you, it wasn't intentional. It was inside the trash bin. So I just packed all the deaths and and and, and threw everything. Hey! Sorry. Shut up! I'm sorry. sorry. Listen, if I find out you've been lying to me, I promise you I'm going to kill you. I'm not lying to you. I uh, uh, I'm I'm not. Sorry, I'm sorry. Stupid it in a trash can, knowing fully well you still need it. What kind of trouble is this? You know you still need it. You want to kill a poor girl like me? I asked you to back off. And you thought I was bluffing, right? Of course I know you're bluffing. What? Of course you're bluffing. Tell me who's bluffing now. Tell me who's fucking bluffing now! Are we going to do this again? Seriously? Shut the fuck up! I'm the one with the gun here, not you. So I do the talking while you do the listening. Huh? I told you. I told you I was going to put an end to your miserable life. Yes, if that would be the only way to get back everything you stole from me. And now is the time. I'm going to freaking do it. I swear, I'm going to kill you. Now I know you're bluff. Then be ready to die. I'm fucking ready to die. Then I'm telling you to shut up. Shut up. What are you talking about? Like you shoot me? You can't shoot me. No. Listen, first things first. There is no pressure on the trigger, so nothing will come out of this nozzle. Look at your finger, all right? Secondly, if you were that stupid enough to shoot, it will attract people because there will be noise. Thirdly, while you were driving in, there were surveillance cameras everywhere. And while you've been talking nonsense, braggadash, that is a surveillance camera there. There's another one taking footages of you here. So what are you talking about? I dare you, go on, shoot. You're bluffing. Okay. Here's one. I know you. You like good things of life. You like the paraphernalia you're controlling right now. You cannot shoot me. Because if you shoot me, first things first, father is never going to forgive you. Secondly, you're going to be a fugitive. Okay? You'll be gone. Wasted. Your freedom gone. 
Again, you're going to lose every single right you have in this kingdom. And thirdly, again, you are going to lose everything. I mean, I mean everything, every single share in this company. That is it. So I'm telling you this. I'm giving you three words right now. I dare you. Shoot. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you. Frederick is not taking his course still. Your Majesty, what is really going on? Are you sure all is well with our son? My Queen, don't get yourself worked up unnecessarily. I'm sure he's fine. So why is he not taking his calls? It's over 40 minutes he's been there. Everybody's calling. So how do we explain it? I don't need to remind you that your son is a workaholic. It's possible he's attending to some pertinent issues in the company and may have left his phone in his office. And forgot your appointment with him and the commissioner for works. This not like him. You know it. Definitely unlike him. But um, never mind. I think I have to be on my way for the meeting already. Um, I will stop by the office and pick him up. Okay? So just calm down. It's okay. You, you take care. Thank you. Emeka. Yes, sir.
saying from the evidence I gathered in this case I think this is a kidnap huh? yes hey hey my Frederick kidnapped yes Dick Daddy what are you doing find my son find him before those hoodlums hurt my son do something you police you know no detective yes who in his right senses will ever conceive the idea of kidnapping my son in my own kingdom? Who? I, I, I don't know. Uh, well, as you speak right now, uh, my boys, they are on it. They are on it right now. But before we can be able to crack this case, I think we need a clue. Your Highness, please think. Is there anybody that is fighting against the royal house? Like, say, um, uh, the chief priest, the chief guard, any rival business partner at all? Is there any that is against you so we can start from there? Um, none that I can think of right now. But if anything comes up, I will let you know. In the interim, I don't want you to rest in your oars. Don't be deterred in trying to fish out those miscreants that kidnapped my, my, my son. Um, your Majesty, you can count on us. Uh, the police are your friends. Oh, now this kidnap. Do something. I don't want their friendship. Just do something. Give me a result. Uh, we'll get you the results, Your Majesty. Uh, your Majesty, I'll take my leave now. It's all right. Are you here? Seriously, y'all are invading my privacy. I can see that uh, you are in a celebratory mode. And uh, the reason for that is not far fetched. What was that supposed to mean? Leonard, bring down your legs. You can't talk to your father like that. With your legs. Bring them down. I'm so sorry. Where is your brother, Frederick? Father. Since when did I become Frederick's babysitter? Why bug me with his whereabouts? Let me ask you this. What exactly do you stand to benefit from this? Is it a ransom? Or you want to eliminate him so that you can clear the way for yourself? What? What are you talking about? I give you till nightfall. If your brother does not return to this palace, Mom, what's going on? What's father talking about? Mom! What's wrong with everybody? Mandemo, you are the superpower. Oh. No one is born with 
the positive passion in my love. Cause this power you see is engineered by inspiration. It's engineered. What am I doing here? Why am I here? Where is this place? Please. Well, I am a John Wansio with a banana for with an annoying sense of entitlement. Does this place look like your father's palace? Where you order people around? Where people are at your beck and call? Eh? No, not at all. Not at all. Please. Please. I, I'm, I'm sorry if my words do sound revolting to you. I'm so sorry. I, I, I just, I just, you know, want to know. Shut up. Shut up! What do you want to do? Eh? An angry man is a devilish man. Get that shut up. My brother, please. Thank you. I, I, I just want to know why you're doing this. Why am I here? That's all I want to know. Please. It's all right. If you must know, here is known as a dead soul. The last place to be before you join your ancestors. My God, you speak perfect English. What made you end up in this kind of business? How dare you? How dare you? Father, that is bad enough that Frederick was kidnapped. But the truth is, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't do it. Then who did? No, tell me who did? You were the only self-acclaimed rival that your brother had. And you are bound to deal with him to eliminate him at all costs. Father, you just don't understand. Frederick is not the man he claims he is. Frederick has made countless numbers of enemies with his dubious lifestyle. Very sure one of those people kidnapped him. That is, if he was truly kidnapped. Shut up. Just shut your mouth, Leonard. Your brother is kidnapped and you are talking rubbish. I didn't want to believe you had a hand in his kidnapping. But with everything you're doing here and now, you're giving me reasons, enough of it, to doubt you have a hand in all this. What is this? Mother, I did not do this. Why would you think of me like that? Isn't it obvious? You have always threatened to get your brother out of the way, haven't you? I know. But I, I don't I don't think that. Will you just shut up? Shut up! Now I give you the night form to bring your brother back from wherever you kept him. As I will treat you like a common criminal that holds your sister. You can treat me like that. You can't treat me like that. I'm your son. Shut up! Just get out. You should be responsible for all your acts and actions. Go and bring back your brother. You may think that faith and love are strange, mm. but they are powerful things. Powerful things. They are powerful things. They can work wonders. Faith and love. Stop fighting your brother. Show him some love. Stop fighting your brother. Arrogant My Stop. queen, my queen, please calm down, okay? Calm down. Eh? Don't, don't get yourself worked up. He's, he's going to return back, I'm sure. You just said I should calm down. My son, our son is missing. This is 11 p.m. in the night. And no trace of him is I should calm down. How? How do you want me to calm down? Look, you don't need to scream. The police have assured us 
Eh? They said they will find him and they will bring him back safely. So, what will be? Nico. Really? Do you see how you have lost the whole thing? When have the police ever lived up to their expectation? Anytime situations like this arise, they will tell you we own it. When they do nothing, don't ever bring the police into this matter. Let us go and lose, do something and get our son back. Ask the police. Which police? Call their friends. Call the police. The, 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 the top shots, you know. Call them. Let them do something. Which police? Uh -huh. Positive passion Be my Cause this power You see Is ingenuous by this Wow Oh, with this man now, I'll see the people pay Who waste time? Calm down Who's need to need to call boss before we pay See, the boss don't be able to come out with this man No, 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 Calm down. No, I can't believe you said this. Our son is missing. My son is missing. Look, my queen, you, you, you seem to forget something. Is he calling my son? Eh? So I'm as interested in his well-being as you. It as, as you are. He doesn't seem so at all. It doesn't seem so. Our son is in the hands of God knows who. And you have done nothing except the police. Do something. Even they don't get... Nobody's asking for ransom. Nobody's even calling to tell us that they, they, they are holding him. Miss, it's more than a male kidnap. It is more than meets the eyes in this matter. It means someone close is aware of this and has to be apprehended as quickly as possible. This is time to walk. Do something. I think you're right. Uh, hello? Yes, detective. Uh, yes, I'm sorry for calling you at this uh, time of the night. Oh, yes. Please, I need you to come to the palace tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning. It's alright. Thank you. So, what are you planning to do now? Let's wait till tomorrow. Hi! Tomorrow is too far. Tomorrow is too far. Your Majesty, tomorrow is too far. You may think that faith and love are strange, mm. but they are powerful things. Powerful things. They are powerful things. They can work wonders. Faith and love. Stop fighting your brother Show him some love Stop fighting your brother Arrogant prince Stop this power to sue I'm in a kid Stop fighting your brother. No one is born with the positive passion. Cause this power you see is injected by this. Is it
created by inspiration Who is behind you? Who is behind you? What's up with that? We have been guessing now. What's going on? Listen to me. Do what I ask you to do and get back to me immediately. Y'all, no fuck ups. No one is born with the positive passion. Cause this mama, you see, is ingenuated by inspiration. Is ingenuated by It's only following the case order. What fucking order are you talking about? What fucking order are you talking about? Are you talking about, bro? Open the fucking gate, I said. Prince, the king gave an order you should not be allowed out of this palace this morning until he says otherwise. What the fuck? You, go back to your place. Yo, pops, what's 
going on? Why would you embarrass me for the way old Steve was like this? Why? What embarrassment are you talking about? Oh, come on, Father. Don't just sit there and act like you do not know what I'm talking about when you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, it appears you have nothing to talk about. You can go ahead and rant or shout. <sighs> Father, why would the ask the guards not let me out of the palace? Why would he give them such instructions against me? Take the call. <laughs> it appears this is the wrong place for you to take the call, I presume. Father, I do not know what you're trying to get out of this. But this is my phone. My freaking phone. I have the right to take my calls or not. It is my choice. Will you stop screaming, my friend? What is going on here? Mother, I do not understand what's going on. I should be asking you this question. Everyone in this palace is acting weird. Can you cut the drama and answer my question? Fine. I'll tell you. I was about leaving the palace, and then the guards asked me not to leave because Father instructed them not to let me out. Why would Father give them such instructions against his own son? Why? Your Majesty? The king awaits your arrival. Take me there. Of course. Come. Your Majesty, you are not saying anything. Is there anything you know that I need to know too? Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, um, Your Majesty. Detective, be fine. Your work. Thank you very much. Detective. Yeah. What is the situation? Any news about my son? Uh, none for now. None. We actually came on His Majesty's request. Uh, Your Majesty, has anyone contacted you for any ransom? <sighs> Not at all. Um, well, but. That is not the reason I sent for you. Okay. I have a suspect that I want you to interrogate. I'm very sure that he has something to say about the kidnap. That would be very useful. That's beautiful. 
Uh, if I may ask your majesty, who is this suspect? A female? Oh, your highness, please, I must be school. Excuse me, please. Hello? Officer? What? Yeah. Good. Have you done all the necessary? I'm coming there. I'm coming there. Oh, uh, your honest, please help what you respect. There is a bad news. Doctor, where is my son? Majesty, thank God you're here. I was just about calling His Majesty. I ask again, where is he? He's in the theater at the moment, and I'm afraid he doesn't look so good. So, what are his chances? Well, too early to call, but I would say 50-50 for now. We've been able to pull out the bullets and some fragments, but he lost a lot of blood in the process and must be transfused with the matching blood immediately. Okay. So, please get across to your son, Prince Leo, because his blood samples will be needed. I'll do that immediately. And you, please follow me to the lab for your blood samples to be taken, because we don't have much time left. After you, after you. The gods of our fathers forbid. I didn't know he was kidnapped. I was with um, EJ, I don't know, when we saw a little boy running, running towards us. And when we asked, and he said, Prince Frederick had been shot by the roadside. What happened? This is indeed strange. Who could want Prince Frederick dead? Mm -hmm. uh, Your Majesty, please, how is he? What is his condition now? Well, I can't say. I've not heard anything. Not from the Queen, not from the hospital. Hello, Doctor. Uh, doctor, please. Could of the blood samples matches with his? No, my Majesty. How? I don't understand. Your Majesty, I'm as shocked as you are. Something is just not right yet. But I don't want to draw conclusions yet. His Majesty will be the next available option that we have. So let me quickly call him. Oh, no, no. I've, I've called him already. I've equally sent a nurse to get his blood samples because t time is really taking fast. I still can't believe Prince Frederick was kidnapped and shot in this village. Hmm. Who could have done such evil? Hi. Isn't it obvious who did? What are you talking about? I don't know. Are you suspecting anyone? We are not talking about suspicion here. We are talking about reality. Reality. You still haven't said anything meaningful. 
What is the reality? Anyway, okay. Uh, all right. The reality is that Prince Leonard did what? Are you sure of what you're saying? Are you sure? Why are you surprised at it? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious that he did it? Hmm. I think I will agree with you. Prince Leonan has been threatening Prince Frederick countless number of times, even in our presence. So I don't think we should look beyond him this time around. But this is strange. This is very strange. This has never been heard of in the history of our great kingdom. But unfortunately, Prince Leonard has changed the course of our history. Wow, oh. Nenukwa. Painful. This is an abomination. If I have a My fellow elders, the question now is what are we going to do? We have no choice. We have no choice but to hope that Frederick returns back. Now we know the next line of action. But we must leave no stone in town. You are correct. <laughs> yes. Myself. Hey. Hey. Who would have thought that? The politics of our of our palace. <laughs> Doctor, what do you mean they didn't match? Huh? You mean my blood? That of my wife, the queen? And even his own twin brother's blood didn't match? I'm sorry, your majesty, but that's the situation on ground now. And you expect me to take that? Why am I sensing incompetency here? Your majesty, I can understand your points very correctly. But then I can assure you that this has got nothing to do with incompetence. It has nothing to do with incompetence. So to, to tell me, how would you explain the puzzle that uh, there is no single person from the royal household that the blood matches that of my son? How possible is that? Your Majesty, it's actually hard to explain for now. But notwithstanding, we will unravel it. It's alright. So, what are we going to do now? I mean, what do we do about the blood transfusion? Oh, it's going on now to so speak, Your Majesty. I had to order for a matching blood with the approval of the Queen since reaching out to you is going to take much of our time. It's alright. But, but you better have a good explanation for this madness. Call Dr. Raymond. Tell him to see me immediately. Frederick, this is the time to fight. If you must make it out of here alive and strong, you have to fight. Fight for your life. Fred, fight. Doctor, what's the situation? What are you saying the blood transfusion? Do you mind, please, can I see you in my office? Now? Yes, please, if you don't mind. After you, okay. okay. Doctor, you're not saying anything. Is anything wrong with my son? Um, not exactly, Your Majesty. I had to call you here first because of the ethics of my profession, so I can hear from you first. But His Majesty will have to hear about it. Doctor, you're confusing me. 
and scaring me at the same time. What is the problem? I'm sorry to ask you this, Your Majesty, but are you the biological mother of um, Prince Frederick? What is that supposed to mean? Of course I am. He's a twin brother to Prince Leonard. Is there anything the matter? This is really serious. So who then is his biological father? What? I don't understand. What is the meaning of what you just uttered now? Well, your genotype is AA. Your husband's genotype is AA. Prince Leonard's genotype is also AA. But Prince Frederick's genotype is AS. So, how come? What is the meaning of that? I don't understand. He is my son. His Majesty is his father. So I don't understand anything you are talking about. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but that's the situation we have on ground now. Like I said earlier, I want you to have this conversation alone first. And I'm afraid His Majesty will still get to know about it eventually. My prince, it's me, Emeka. What the fuck you want? His Majesty, the King, asked me to call you immediately. Alright. Don't tell him I'm coming. Father, you called. Detective. Your Highness. This is the suspect. What? Your Highness. Interrogate him very well. I believe he has a lot to confess. Father. Prince Leonard. Officers. Take this criminal out of my sight. Now. Oh, I think you have to follow us down to the station for questioning, Prince Leonard. Officer, you have no right to arrest me for mere suspicion. I have done nothing. You have no evidence against me. Prince Leonard, like I said before, this is not an arrest. I'm only taking you in for questioning. So I don't know where you got that mere suspicion and evidence from. I'm only taking you in for questioning, so with all due respect, can we go now? Fine. I'll ride behind you. I told you this before and I'm telling you again, man. I've got nothing with my brother's kid now. I've got nothing, man. You got nothing to your brother, Prince Frederick Kingman, right? Yo! But you threatened to take your brother, Prince Frederick, out of the road, either by hook or by crook on numerous occasions. And now, 
was subsequently kidnapped and was sold. What do you tell me? What do you make about that? Yo, you yo, me? yo, yo, come on, man. Those were empty threats. Only, only plan to subdue him, man. I got nothing with that, bro. Please, I, 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 don't, I don't get you. You should lose your empty threats. Plan to subdue. You should subdue. Please, be exact. Listen, listen, man. My father was planning to name him heir to the throne at my expense. I just had a fight back. That's all. So is that the reason you tried to kill him? I beg your pardon? We are investigating to unmask the man behind the kidnap and attempted murder of your twin brother. And as a detective, every information I can lay my hands on right now will be useful to me. Uh, anyway, you can go now. You are not under arrest. But I will be needing you for further question. It's not a problem, detective. I got nothing to do with this. My sister. Wonder shall never end. Nothing is impossible again in this world of Asho. Tell me already what's happening. I heard everything. What did you hear? This palace is on fire as we speak. The unimaginable has happened. You are saying many things without saying anything. What is it? What did you hear? I heard the royal doctor telling the king what that. Wants in your family? God forbid. God forbid when all you do is to eavesdrop on other people's private conversation and gossip with it. You know what? I think I'll have to tell the king about this. No, Emeka, please. You don't have to do that. In fact, I didn't hear anything. It was all a joke. A joke? <laughs> I think the king would love to laugh about this joke too. No, Emeka, please. You don't have to do that. Don't mind Emeka. He's not going to do anything. I know him. Hey, hey, what did you say the way I don't control the king? That you are an Obanja, you should be thrown out of this palace. Rubbish! It is you that's an Obanja, eh, hey, who? It is indeed a great joy that we are all gathered here today. For the first time in the history of this great land, the gods blessed us with a set of twins. We all watch them grow to adulthood. We all know that our king was the first monarch to have a BSc and also a PhD in this part of the country. Just as our people will say, a liar begets a liar. <laughs> Hence, the twins went in search of a greater knowledge in a white man's land. A knowledge that will be beneficial to them. Also to the royal household and to bring this kingdom to a greater height. Mm. We are all here today to welcome them back to the land of their fathers yes. and also to celebrate their achievements. <laughs> <laughs> 
Princess Leonard and Frederick, please permit me to welcome you on behalf of the royal household and the, the entire kingdom. Once again, I say you are all welcome. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Ije, you spoke all well. Thank you, man. As you can see, I am very, very happy. See, my boys, I used to tease my queen. Yeah, that too. Those two fantastic boys took after me uh, in terms of my IQ. <laughs> but she used to argue. Uh, well, I also give it to her because she's equally very intelligent. <laughs> so, um, my, my joy knows no bound. As I welcome my boys from the white man's land, after years of studying, you know, abroad, um, a good father prays that the children should be greater than him. And my sons have um, made me proud and uh, their strides in terms of achievement abroad is in that regard, all right? Um, right now, I think I can comfortably join my ancestors because my kingdom is now in safer hands. <laughs> Your Majesty, you're right. When they were traveling abroad, I was a little bit afraid that uh, they might be distracted by the beautiful white women over there or the good life they have over there. But looking at them, I can see that that was never the case at all. <laughs> I trust my children. <laughs> please, uh, please, please, please. I don't know what you make of us, but the reality of it all is we know where we are coming from. You know, we always knew that. And again, you know, my quest for knowledge actually did not make me distracted by any woman of any race, you know, be her white, black, Latina, green, indigo, whatever race it is, okay? reason I came back as a BSc, MBA, and PhD holder. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> yes. That is good. Yes, yes. Well, knowing who you are, Prince Frederick, I'm not surprised. Thanks. I congratulate you. You're welcome to our Thank your life, but that's not my Thanks. Talking about achievements, Prince Leonard, I trust you did better than your twin brother. everybody, including your father, the king. Mom. Yes? I'm jet-lagged and tired. Right now I need to rest. jet lag. It doesn't seem so. Your mood changed immediately. Oh, Mom, please don't make a fool out of this. I spent 13 hours on the flight and three hours on the road down to the village. Please, I'm tired. I need to rest. But you were on the same flight with your brother. Oh. Wasn't it? Oh, come on, Mom. Please don't do this right now. Okay? That's my brother, not me. Listen. Frederick and I might be twin brothers, but we're a world apart. All right? He can sit there and talk all day like a child. I don't care. I'm tired, and I need to rest. And Mom, if you don't mind, please, I would like you to leave. I need to rest. Leonard? Mom! Okay, I, I will leave. 
But I will ask Chisom to bring food for you so that you eat. You need to eat. Oh, please, I am not interested. Thank you. Listen, I will accept anything, but definitely not a no. I specially made that food for you and your brother. Considering the distance to this village, I know you must be famished by now. So I'm bringing you the food. Excuse me. Chisom is coming back. No, 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 no. Okay, no need. No, 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 no. The king is not coming. I'm, I'm sorry. You see, my brother had a very terrible experience in Canada. So anytime you know he remembers it, he just has this mood swing. So please, this is what happened in there. So I'm very sorry as to what happened. I'm very, very sorry. It's okay. You see, yes. I want to thank you for trying to handle the situation. Thank you. Uh, but I know that uh, we cannot be more angry than the king. Just know what you have to do to uh, harmonize the whole situation. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Yes. You are indeed a good man. But make sure your brother apologizes to the king. Of course. I could see the embarrassment and bitterness on his face. Of course. He will definitely do that. I'm very sorry. I'll get back to you, it's gentlemen, it's later it's on. I'm very sorry, my chiefs. Very it's sorry. It's That come in. It's me, Jisoo. Before we start. Greetings, my prince. My prince, I brought your food. Should I drop it here or there? I brought your food, my prince. Where well would be more convenient for you, here or there? Just get out. I said, get out! I'm surprised at Prince Leona's behavior today at the palace. Look at the way he walked out on everybody, including his father, the king. Uh, well, I know his brother was just trying to ease the tension, but there's more to that. I know Prince Frederick was only trying to cover up for his brother. Prince Luna's behavior still baffles me. Judging from what happened today, one would have thought that living abroad would make him a better man. But I know this certainly is going to bring out the worst in him. How? Oh. Iche, you are not far from the truth. When they arrived, I observed he was very calm. And really we mentioned the achievement abroad, he became upset. Why was that? Isn't this obvious why? He got intimidated by his brother, Prince Frederick's long list of qualifications. <sighs> got intimidated? How? Iche, you are asking me how as if you don't know Prince uh, Leonard again. I don't think he came back with any qualification. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. That is not possible. That is not possible. After all these years of studies abroad, how can he not come with uh, some qualifications? It's not possible. You think that living abroad will change him to become a better man? Look, let me tell you. It will be easier for a liar to eat grass than for a snake. To develop legs. <laughs> Don't worry. Just wait. You will soon hear. <laughs> this is your parable. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Lion like eating grass. I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 
What is it? Do you know what this? My love, please calm down. Just calm down. Don't ask me to calm down. Don't! What is it? Sorry. Ah, how can I calm down for that kind of a boy? Eh? Tell me which kind of father will condone the excesses of such a prodigal son for this long? I have tried everything to make him a good person. I sent him abroad. I tried to make him a better version of himself. But everything is in futility. What is it? You are telling me to calm down? For what? My love, I know how your anger can be. I know the consequences. When you eventually get angry. That is why I don't want you to get to this extent. Look, it has got it past that extent. I am telling you, it has got it past the stage. Ah! Look, certainly I have changed from being a king to being a father. Just to condone his excesses. But what do I get? The same thing! So, what is it? I'm fed up! You have every right to be angry. I'm equally angered by this latest development. But I don't want us to give, give up on him. I don't want us to give up hope on him. Eh? He, he, no matter what, he's still our son, regardless. Let's just keep patching him. I believe everything will be fine. Hope, you say? No, you are telling me we shouldn't give up hope? So, you don't know that Leonard's position right now is that of hopelessness. You don't know. His case is beyond hope, if you don't know. That's rather too harsh. Harsh? M my love, calm down. Don't ask me to calm down. His situation, right? In fact, there is no word that I will use now that will be up to what I am feeling. It's an understatement if I say it is a hopeless case. It's okay. I know it's, it's pointless trying to discuss or talk about this with you. Just come to bed. We'll talk about it some other time. We are at least very calm. Okay? Come to bed. You go to bed. I, I will join you later. What are you going to do now, Vijay? Come and lie down. Sweet. and beautiful son that oversees our great kingdom. A woman who has rare beauty. A woman who has so much poise and class. A woman who makes royalty. Actually, she makes royalty look so good. So appealing to the eyes and of course endearing to the heart. I humble myself before you, O oh great queen, my mother. Rise, my son. I love the way you always massage my ego. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. May my mouth be impaired if I do massage your ego. Uh-oh. I do not speak words of flattery. You see, my words are born out of your rare beauty. <laughs> by your class, your finesse, your abysses of womanhood. You are the royal golden standard. Yes, this is what royalty is all about. And I do say this today. Royalty will be nothing, absolutely nothing without you. <laughs> my lips are sealed. My tongue tied. Mm. Now let me be your voice. Let me be your voice. Because if only can this voice be a bridge, I'll put it across the Atlantic Ocean and build you a castle there. If my voice can be a star, I will have your name engraved in the middle of it and let it shine over the world all day long. I will tell you this, mother. 
Blessed be that day you conceived me in your royal womb. I am most grateful to be your son. <sighs> your words suit my body and my soul. They are like the gentle breeze that give life to dead butterflies in my stomach. It's amazing how your certain words make me feel so beautiful and alive. I am blessed to have a son like you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. And may I say I am most grateful to have a wonderful, beautiful, highly intelligent woman of poison, glamour, and valor as a mother. Like I always say again, royalty will never, never be the same without you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my son. I was actually looking for Prince Leonard. Did you see him? Yes, he's actually in his room. But I, I knocked and nobody responded. Trust me when I say he's there. Okay, let me right. go try again. Okay. <laughs> Come right. here. <laughs> you know I love you. I love you so much. Yeah. All right, my queen, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I'll watch you take your time. <laughs> Be very careful. Knocking at the door, and you refuse to take the door. Why? Well, that obviously means I do not want no one bugging me. Bugging you? Your mother's presence is a bug to you? Right? It's you saying, not me. What is wrong with you? Ever since you came back to this house with your twin brother, you have been living in solitude. One tends to live in solitude when everyone and everything is against him. Greetings. My great father, the Iteoke Miri of our great king. A king everyone is so proud of. The king who supersedes and actually is a canopy to his great kingdom. May you live long, my great king. May you live long. Great is my son. May he be well with you. He say, Christ. Thank you, Father. Yeah. May I sit down? Ah, please. please. Yes. Thank you. Um, my great king wasn't actually looking all cheered up. He had a sad face. And may I ask the reason? Isn't it obvious? What is obvious? Mother, no one likes me in this palace. Y'all act as if I do not exist, especially father. Making me look like some police guard. You know that's not true. That's freaking true, mother. We treat you like a son. A beloved son and the prince of this kingdom. Just that the problem lies with you. It's so impossible, it's so difficult. How? Look at what you're doing. I've been knocking and you're not saying anything. You ask me how? Look, your brother Leonard is a black sheep in this palace. A female prince who can be best described as, um, as a royal mismatch. 
Come on, father. I mean, isn't that too extreme? No. I mean, Leonard is not that bad, you know. He is. He's so bad. I mean, the, the unfortunate thing is he, he doesn't even realize that there is anything wrong with it. All right? He feels that uh, being a prince or uh, the, the son of a rich king exempts him from the struggles and realities of life. Well, if you ask me, Father, I'll just say, uh, it's only a matter of time. Uh, Leonard will come around. Say time? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, time is a commodity that your brother Leonard knows nothing about. He does not understand the value of time in human life. Okay, now, what did he spend with his time abroad? No, what did he use his time for abroad? Well, I was studying. A study that couldn't produce any results? No, that's the problem. That's the freaking problem. No one cares to listen or understand what I've been trying to say. On the contrary, I think the problem is you have wasted great opportunities given to you and you have failed to acknowledge it. The problem you have refused to make use of the opportunities given to you to make a better version of yourself. You let them pass by and the list is endless. You know what? I'm not surprised. I've never been the favored son. That's not true. You have always been the favored between you and your twin brother. But your twin brother never complained. He makes good of all the opportunities he gets. And what do you do? You keep complaining and giving excuses for your failures. Then when will you grow up? Is it when you're old and dead and buried? Or when you grow a, a gray hair? Is it when you're going to grow up? Come on, grow up! I don't think he will ever grow up. Oh, father! Look, look, his recent failure is a testament to that. And I have you to blame in part for it. You have me to blame? What for? Why? You're asking me why? Yes. Were you not there with him? You were there with him, you saw everything, but you kept mom. Father, in my own defense, I'll say I'm not to blame now. Leonard moved out of where we were staying and moved in with some friends and shut me out completely. I called you, I told you to inform you of what was going on at the time. Um, yes, you did. You did, but you could have done more. I mean, yes, I acknowledge the fact that you hid certain things just to protect him, but you could have done more. Father, on the contrary, I was never hiding any information from you or anybody, no. Remember, myself and Leonard, we attended different classes. So it was difficult for me to know his academic progress. I mean, I, he shot me out. That was it. I think it's time he's made to know the realities of life. I am a prince. I was born in purple. That is the reality. Really? Don't you think there is more to life than being born a prince and into a wealthy royal family? Oh, come on, mother. What are you talking about? I am a prince. The heir to the throne. Soon to succeed my father when he joins his ancestors. Then, I will have everything I ever craved for. Power. I will be a revered 
and feared king. I will control my father's wealth and that of this kingdom. Everything and everyone will be at my back and core. What more can I ask for, mother? It's not my fault I was born into royalty in Affluent. At least God knew it was going to feed me. That's why he made it possible I was born here. And trust me, I'm going to enjoy the best way I can. No. You have lost it. You are indeed very, very sick. Absolutely sick. You don't get it, do you? If fighting for what is mine is what you refer to as sickness, then fine. But trust me, I'm going to kill every doctor that tries to heal me. Because this is good sickness. I like it. <laughs> Leo, snap out of this your wild dream. Your daydream. Grow up. Get a life. I mean, Leonard, get a life. Excuse me. I already have a life, mother. Best life ever. The best life ever, mother!
right here. Why did you do that? Do what? I only drank our juice. Look at this one. Our juice. Yes. It is not our juice. It is my juice. Point of correction. Really? Yes. <laughs> the way you're talking about this, my juice, I don't understand. I never knew father had already written his will. Will? Yes. Who's talking about will here? Because I am. And the way you're struggling for juice and emphasizing on my juice, it seems that father has already willed some of his properties to you and uh, all the juice in this house <laughs> as well. <laughs> father, can you stop? Oh my God. Yes. You never cease to amaze me. Of course, of course. I just keep trying. I just keep trying. So, where's father? He's fine. He's taking a nap. Oh, yeah. Actually, the man needs it. I mean, he's been through a lot lately. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown, indeed. Yes. Honestly, you're yes. right. Yes. It's been yes. hectic. I know. I it's know. been rough. I know. I know. He'll get by. He'll get by. He'll get by. <laughs> I saw you with Chisom earlier. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about, really. And did I say anything, really? I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I know you're up to something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to be part of this conversation. I'm not, I, seriously, I'm not going to be part of this conversation right now. <laughs> I am in no way going to discuss this with you. I wouldn't lit that cigarette, Leonard. Mother, please allow me to put up this fire on my head. Your presence is an unwanted distraction right now. Please. All oh, thanks to my presence. If not the fire in your head would have turned into an inferno. Because of those. An inferno? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be better than living with a father who hates his son with so much content? Hate? Come on. What a good way to deviate from the present reality. Your father is not a problem. You know it. You are. You are your problem. Think about it. You are your personal problem. How so, mother? You were there. You saw father see all this rubbish. Leonard, I wouldn't have you refer to your father's words as rubbish. What is wrong with you? Have you gone nuts or something? Have you lost your mind? Now you're the one deviating from reality. Father treats me like an outcast in my own house. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the right family. And this has got me thinking every day. I've always been wondering this what you, my biological son. Listen. I'm still wondering if someone one day will come up with a claim and confession that you are your child. What happened in there should be an eye opener to you. I'd better make hay why the sun is still benevolent enough to shine on you. Smoking some positive thought into your head and not this. Freaking cigarettes. Think before it's too late for you, my son. Use your head. Use your mind. Cigarette is not your answer. Cigarette is your problem. All of it are your problem. Father, 
you not saying anything? Why? What exactly do you want me to say? I have said so many things. Asked so many questions. Yet no answers. I need answers. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you have said absolutely nothing. And nothing does not deserve any answer. Father, you have two sons. Grown up sons. And as a matter of fact, twins. But unfortunately, one is more favored than the other. You have given your favored son an elevated position in your company without even considering the other. Why? Leonard, when your mother gave birth to a set of twins, my joy knew no bounds. But as it is, I cannot help but believe that uh, probably your mother gave birth to his son and the hospital decided to gift us with another son as a consolation for the maybe my benevolent act towards them in the past. What are you implying, Father? Use your tongue to count your teeth. Father, I am your son and I deserve better. It's bad enough you prefer Frederick to me. But giving him such position in your company Makes it even worse. We have equal right to work in that company. And if anyone should be considered first, it should be me and not the other way around. Leonard. You are quite correct when you say you both have equal rights. Yes. But my dear, this goes beyond the issue of rights. I sent both of you abroad. I gave you equal opportunities to study and come out with good results that you can use to work. Frederick worked hard came out with the, one of the best results you can think of. In fact, his CV is one of the best around. But what did you come back with? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. While he was working hard to bake his cake, you ate up the ingredients for making your own cake, and you burnt the bakery. Well, if you're hungry, by all means, go ahead and start building your bakery from the scratch. But be rest assured that I will not give you any assistance whatsoever while doing this. Why do you always try to make me feel bad, Father? Why do you sound as though I have no qualifications when I do? Of course you do. Uh, but I'm afraid your qualification can only fetch you maybe a gatekeeping job in my company. Yes, and uh, I think uh, I have a position for that in my company. We need an extra hand. Uh, well, if you want to take that, of course, by all means, you can start today if you so desire.
what the hell is really going on in this palace? Father had the mind to suggest I work as a gatekeeper in his company. Oh no, this is not happening. Frederick has succeeded with a scheme, but I won't let this happen. I can be boxed to a corner in my own father's palace, which naturally is my inheritance. Never. too little for you that you had to pass all the way without greeting me. I'm sorry my prince. Maybe you didn't hear me. I greeted you. The fuck? Are you trying to say I'm lying? No my prince. Maybe you didn't hear me. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Good day my prince. Turn around. Turn around. I said turn the fuck around. So tell me. What are you doing at the moment? I'm going to sweep the balcony. Once you're done with whatever you're doing, come straight to my chambers. All right? Get the fuck out. We have got beautiful stuffs in this palace. I'll have fun. Chiso, don't you want to tell me what the problem is? What happened to you? Eh? Okay. Even if you don't want to tell me what the problem is, at least stop crying. You're hurting yourself, please. Okay? Please stop. God. Sorry.
What's going on? I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm just surprised to see you, that's all. <laughs> Listen, your sense of humor is not a pair with your stilt. What are you up to? What am I up to? Oh, come on, Mom. Please don't make a mountain out of an ant hole. I just told you I'm fine. I, I, I was doing nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Everything doesn't seem cool with you. Because I can sense some fear and uneasiness looking around at your smile. It's fake. It's totally fake. I... Mom, where are you getting those thoughts from? Fear? Come on, you, you know me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cool like that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm doing nothing. I'm, I was just, I was just chilling. <laughs> I sent the mates come call you. Why did you drive them away? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were doing here earlier. I, I was, um, I was busy. Yes, I, I, I was busy trying to put the space together. I mean, I had to clean up that table. I, 
I had to clean up that table. I, I had to clean up the bed. Uh, fix. Come, let's go downstairs. I want to show something to you. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it's all right, Mom. You, you can go ahead. I, I'll build you shortly. No. All right? Not now. After you. Excuse me? I said, after you. So get going. Oh, Mom. Mom. No, I said, after you. I, I'll, I'll, I'll get my stuff. Where is she? She was in the other side. Fuck someone up now. Fuck someone up right now. Hey, hey. Hey. Where am I supposed to take from my room? Speak now before I kill you. You're talking me. Where are they? What the fuck are they? The king. The king. What? Leonard. Don't keep me waiting. So you do drugs? Under my roof? How dare you? How dare you do drugs in my palace? 
You should have first asked me if I know anything about drugs. I, I, I don't do this. Okay? I, I, I don't know how this got to my room. I don't know who has this. Besides, you didn't find them with me. Really? Yes. So how did they get into your bedroom? I don't know. Maybe you asked yourself I brought them to you. She should know better. She? Yes. <laughs> so how did you know it's a she? Isn't it obvious? No, what is obvious? Tell me, what is obvious? Stupid. Leonard. Father. I will ask you one more time. Who betide you if you dare lie to me? Who is the owner of that white substance? Okay, fine. It's mine. It's yours. So this is the extent your madness has carried you? What is wrong with you? It's obvious you want me dead at all costs. But it will not work for you. It will not work for you. Mom, it's not what you think. So what am I supposed to think? It's not really mine. Some friend gave it to me to keep for him. Property. He didn't give you a building to keep for him. Is this is asking you to keep for him. Leonard. Father. You have the gods to do drugs under my roof. Do drugs? I, I don't do drugs. Just shut up! Now, where are the remaining ones? There's all of it. There's all of them. You better be saying the truth. Emeka, your majesty, take a guard. Go to his bedroom and search it thoroughly for white substance like this. Your Majesty. I don't Very think good. you're going. Mr. Bribe, so that you can go ask him to out of him for you. Anything. Are you sure you searched well? Of course, there's nothing there. There is nothing in his room. Are you sure? Did you search the room thoroughly? We did, Your Majesty. We found nothing. Now leave. Your Majesty. So, this was the reason for the shenanigan. That stunt you pulled up in the afternoon. Earlier today. Eh? I should have known better. Idiot. Mom's not what you think. I don't do hard drugs. I've never done and I would never do it. No, shut up. No, I do it. No. Leonard, you have the guts to lie to me. I'll get back to you. Now leave my presence. Get out. Get away. I don't do hard drugs. Get out. Get out. Get out. Thief! Hey! Take my stuff from my father! I see you trying to get back at me, huh? No, that was not what happened. Then what happened? It was not intentional, I swear. Rebecca, oh my just this is demeaning for human beings. I mean, how can you allow them? 
to use this under the sun, under the rain? I'm sorry, Majesty. Look, I, I'm giving you one week. Ah, hi. I'm oh. okay. Yes, I'm sorry, Your Highness. Wait, wait a minute. What is that? It's that I got from Prince Leonard's bedroom. Your Majesty. Where did you say you got that from? From Prince Leonard's bedroom, Your Highness. There are others there. Contained. You fool! Must you trash everything you see? I'm sorry, my prince. Like I told you, it wasn't intentional. It was inside the trash bin, so I just packed all the debts and 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 threw it. Shut up! Sorry. Shut up! I'm sorry. sorry. Listen, if I find out you've been lying to me, I promise you, I'm going to kill you. I'm not lying to you. I, uh, no. I'm not. Sorry. I'm sorry. You put it in a trash can, knowing fully well you still need it. What kind of trouble is this? that uh, Joss is about 15 hours from here, considering the day you left. Yes, but I used the night bus because I was hoping I would come back early and meet you and Mama before you guys leave for work. But unfortunately, I was not able to meet up. Uh, your Mama left for the palace early. The King is having some guests, so your Mama left to get their food ready. Hi, and I wanted to tell her something very important. It is a surprise and it's also a good news, but I will not tell you till she comes. Uh, no problem, just go to the house and rest. Eh? And when she comes back, she'll see you. Besides, I will tell her that you are here. You will tell her? Yes. Are you going to the palace? Yes, I'm going to the palace. You know that the king likes my palm wine. So he asked me to bring some for his guests. Yeah, can I go with you to the palace? Um, are you sure? Yes. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, let's be going. So, how do you know I'm here? Ha. That drunkard told me you're here. Baka. Mm -hmm. ah. 
Obaka I saw him on the road and I asked him to go. Obaka cannot cease from following me to know where I'm tapping from. <laughs> I didn't know he followed. He huh? did. Uh, raise this standing for me. Uh, uh, but I think we should get to Kadao. Ah, uh, let's use, let's use. The, the, the palace is closed. How, how do I carry this and start looking for Kadao? Let's, let's be going. Let's be going. Aye. So, how was your day? After supply, he got shop and go. Ah. I'm now your assistant. Okay. <laughs> Is that what it means? Because you are pretty. Mr. Uweke, my good friend. I think. As early as always. <laughs> That's what I've known for my king. And besides, I cannot keep my king waiting. Ah. You are good at what you do. Thank you, my king. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, my queen. And who is this beautiful, elegant, smart looking girl? Hi. Pardon me, your majesty. Um, this is my daughter. My only child. She's so. Wow. Your wife will always wax lyrics of her beauty and intelligence. And I believe she did justice to her description because she represents everything her mother says she is. You're welcome to the palace. Thank you so much, my queen. You're welcome. It's an honor to be in your presence. Welcome to the palace. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> You're lucky to have something like this. Thank you, my queen. Uh, my king, here is the pan wine you requested for. Um, it's very fresh and sweet, as you always like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I trust what you can do. Thank you, my king. You never disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my king. Um, my king, I, I have to leave immediately. And there are some other customers that are waiting for my delivery. And um, this is my daughter. She just returned from just this morning. And she's here to see her mother. I don't know if she can be permitted to see her, even if it's just for a moment. Uh, uh, absolutely. My dear, you can stay as long as you want, all right? Thank you so much, my queen. You're Thank welcome. you, my king. You have a large heart. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my king, I think I'll be leaving now. It's all right. Um, Emeka. I'll just... Welcome, my friend. Uh, my king. Yeah. My chief guard will... Uh, Pass a message across as you do. <laughs> Thank you very much, my king. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Go ahead and see your mother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My queen, she's such a beautiful girl. Honestly, she's everything her mother says she is. <laughs> and she's so mean. <laughs> Have you seen the cook around? Oh yes, she's at the back of the house with the palace food supplier. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Papa, that was how it happened. Aisha's father was so helpful. As I'm talking to you now, my getting admission into Jobs Polytechnic is just few paperworks away and everything will become reality. Mm -hmm. Not just that though. He promised to secure a place for me inside the school premises. Get me a shop where I can be doing small, small business to help myself so I will not find it difficult to feed mm -hmm. or buy toiletries, man. <laughs> it's like a dream to me. Mm -hmm. Same here. I, I think I will just wake up and realize it's just a dream. But to God be the glory, it's reality. It has come to stay. I cannot wait to see the woman I will become. <laughs> <laughs> so something good is still coming out of this family. It's still going to come out of this family. Yeah. All those who said nothing good will come out of this family will surely eat their words. They have started eating their words. Too. Yeah. And by the time I come out with my first class, mm -hmm. <laughs> they will eat their shit. Yes. <laughs> I will personally choke them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey! You see? 
That is why it is good to be good to people, no matter who or what they are. Mm -hmm. eh? How would I have known that the little favor I did to Aisha and her mother years back will result to this? Hmm. It really pays to be good. It pays to be good though. I've learned from this story, Papa. You needed to have seen how appreciative Aisha's mother is. Hmm. If not for the vehement refusal of the husband for her not to join me down. She was willing to follow me here to know where we are staying. That's how appreciative she is. I'm telling you, she sends her regards. Mm -mm. So, my daughter, this paper work of a thing, did they tell you how long it will take? Um, a month or less than a month. Ah. How would you know? Mama, be coming down. Calm down, be coming down. Don't worry. That's why there's phone now. I'll be communicating with Aisha. Yeah, she will tell good. me. Please. I must not go to just to find out. This good news. It's good news. It's good news. Hey! It's good news. It's good news. Yes. Take it, take it from your mother. <laughs> Papa, you have any hey. pop for dumpling. I can pump and wine, I will pump and wine. I will pump and wine. <laughs> pump and wine. <laughs> Hello, barista Aisha Mohammed Danjuma. become one now. How are you? How are your family? My sister, I'm fine now. My parents are okay. I'm so sorry. It's bad network. Adding with my bad phone. So sometimes I will not even get a call. And most times when I'm on a call, it fluctuates. How are you? That is, he has the guts to challenge me. Where are you? Mwake! Mwake! Come out here! Come out here! If you call yourself a man, come out here! Mwake, I know that you are in there! Come out here and challenge me! Aisha, I'll call you back please. I think someone is in our house. Nay, nay, your grandma. It's a lachi. I'll post a tackle and go on my own way to your mom. Do I in any way look like a retired father? That's the good thing you call the father. Do I look like him? By the way, where is he? Where is who? Your father! Okay, now I understand. Because I don't have a wretched father. My adorable father is now home. If I may ask, Ogoama, since you said I should not call him now, what is the problem? Your father! That man in there you call a father has the ghost to tell me. After my warnings to him to stop selling palm wine, to my customers. He now went and sold my wife to my best customer. Your father has been going around this village telling everybody that my pamwai is not sweet. So that they will stop buying from me and be buying from him. Eh? Ha! Your father! I will, I will so deal with him in this village. Eh? My rest in Jesus' name. Nay, what is it? Just listen to yourself. You are an elder, but you're not talking like one. Uh, How can my father possibly make people to stop buying your palm wine? They don't rub it on the body. They drink it. So if your palm wine is sweet, people will feel it when they drink it. Everybody in this village knows my father sells fresh, sweet palm wine straight from the palm tree. Uh, I can so see. You cannot blame my father for your for your for your inability to sell or convince people to buy your palm wine oh, my oh, father oh. is not even capable of gossiping about anybody my father is a peaceful man in this village so oh, please oh, don't, oh, oh, he has oh. not done anything wrong okay i can see it's like father like daughter okay you're supporting your father anyway i didn't come here for you i did not come here i don't even have your time whenever he comes back tell him that i was here tell him that he has succeeded in awakening a sleeping tiger and he shall see, he shall face the wrath of the tiger. Tell him I was here. Ha. I know, Grandma. What is all this now, eh? This is, this is pure jealousy. If your palm wine is not sweet, how can you be blaming my father? There's no way everybody will be saying your palm wine is bitter when it's sweet. Mama! 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 No! 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 Jesus! Papa! 
is wrong with you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. You both are alive. Thank God. It was yes, we are alive. We are alive. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God it was just a dream. Oh. Yeah. I dreamed I had a very terrible bad dream. God it is forbid. not your portion. God I dreamed when you died, Papa, even you, Mama. Oh, well. Yes. Uh, but we are alive. We are alive. Come so so down, my daughter. Oh, oh Calm down. Nothing will happen to you people in Nasha, Jesus' nothing. name. Oh, Amen. God. It was so real. It was so real, God. I was just shouting. I no. Just stay with calm me. Calm down, calm down. Hmm? Just relax. And let's rest. go, let's go. No, let's no, 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 just stay here. Just hold me. You should just stay here. Let's go to the room. The devil is a liar. My mother will not die. Here. Amen. My father will not die. Here. Amen. We will live to see. Oh, they will live to see my children's children. Yes, amen. And Chisun, I want you to know that it was just an ordinary dream. So please, do not think much about it. Papa, but some dreams are so real. But it's still a dream, regardless. I know they say some dreams are just imagination. But sometimes it could also be revelation. God revealed to us through dreams. Everything cannot be mere coincidence. Okay, connect this with what Mr. Oguama told you the other day. Is he not showing you anything? With the threat he issued. Please, Papa, I beg you. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Don't go anywhere today. Please, let's be careful. Um, okay, okay, okay. Chiso, what do you want me to do? Papa, I don't want you to go out today. Huh? I don't want you to go out today. At least tomorrow you can go out. We need to protect ourselves. I know that God is protecting us, but we, we, we have to do what we can. We need to protect ourselves. I know that God is protecting us, but we need to do what we can. Uh, Chiso, in as much as I would like to keep to your wish, I cannot because I have supplies to make. Eh? I cannot afford to disappoint my customers. They are the reason we have food on our table, no matter how small. Besides, my wine will sour. I, I, I can't afford it. If, if, if I do not go out today, it will affect our tomorrow. It's better. It's better our tomorrow is affected and we are alive than not living to see tomorrow. Please, Papa. I beg you, hunger will not kill us. Please. Um, um, I understand you, my daughter. But I promise you, I will be very careful. Nothing will happen to me, right? Not right. <clears throat> Just um, talk to her. Understand me. Is it that you and Papa have already lost regards for me or something? Why is it that both of you have chosen not to listen to me? Why? Chisum, you know we love you. You don't love me, Mama. If you love me, you will listen to me. For me to be feeling this way I'm feeling, it shows something is wrong somewhere. I can't place my hand on it, but something is wrong. Some dreams are revelation. Some dreams are God warning us. Why can't you people just listen, Mama? Have Chisum. I told you something like this before? Chisum, I agree. Well, let me let you know something. If your father does not go out this money, he cannot meet the demands of his customers. Yes, that is the truth. And for me, I have to go to the palace. It's an obligation every morning. That is where we earn our living. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm not saying Papa should stop selling palm wine or you should stop working at the palace. I'm only saying you people should stay at home today. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not feeling, I'm feeling weird. I'm not feeling all right about it. Jesus. Please. Chiso, Chiso, we have to look for money for you, no matter how little it is, for you to go back to Joss. Yes. Mama, forget about me. Forget about me. I don't want anything from you and Papa. All I want is to have you both alive. That's
that is what I want. Forget about how I'll go back to Joyce or how I'll survive. Please, I'm no handicap. I will help myself. God will help me. But then you need to be alive. Papa needs to be alive. I was the one that spoke with that man. You need to have seen the, the, the pain, the, the anger, the anguish in his face. That man threatened everything. He said he's going to deal with Papa. Chiso, calm down. Calm down, Chiso. The God that has been taking care of us till now, eh? He's not dead. That's why God revealed us. He revealed to us, so we'll be careful. This girl, I know why you are scared. Don't worry, we are safe. Nothing will happen to your father. Nothing will happen to me. Yes. I want to go to the palace. I have to walk. Mama, must you go today? Call in sick now. Make excuse. Don't worry. I'll come back in the evening and I'll see you. Huh. Safe and sound. Hmm? Mama, please. Fine girl, fine girl. Don't worry. I'm coming back. Don't worry. Don't be scared. God will protect me. will protect you and will protect your father. We are safe. Forget your grandma. Oh! Because of, I think it is because of that fear that you had that dream. Wipe it off your mind. You know? Just be calm. I will see you in the evening. Oh? Don't worry yourself. Hmm. Oh God, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. Please, protect my parents for me. Okay? They are all I have. I don't have never felt this way before. This is becoming very disturbing. Press it now. It's the hotness that will make you get yourself in few hours. Uh, it's painful. Sorry, I, I don't it's... want you to have blood clots. I, it's very painful. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. I... Tom, let me massage your waist. For I... ah. Sorry. The waist, the waist nearly broke. Ah. To where I would tap and wine. Mm. I, I started hearing some voices, strange voices. I followed those voices and entered the bush. As I got to the bush, I saw three men. They were killing a man. The man looked like a politician. Very rich man. As I saw them, and I climbed my bicycle, I looked back. It was as if one of them was following me. So with speed, I sped out of that place. As I was running, in the process, I hit a stone and fell down from my bicycle. That's how I sustain all this injury. Hi. Thank God for saving your life. Now. So, but did you see the man they were killing? Did you see their faces? Even those that were killing the man, did you see their faces? No, I, I couldn't see their faces. Hi. But the man they were killing is very rich. He looked very rich. Hmm. Have you seen it? I told you. I warned you, Papa, but you wouldn't listen to me. What if they had killed you? What if you had died when you fell off the bicycle? What would you have said? I warned you when you were leaving, but you, you refused to regard my words. My daughter, thank God. Thank God I did not die. I'm still alive to tell the story. I'm so sorry. Now, missing now your body. Oh, yeah, lie down. Let me massage your waist again. Hi. Sorry. Hi. Mr. Wicker, you think you could 
run and hide away from us. Eh? What did you see there? Can you I, 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 I did not see anything, no. I did not see anything, please. please. Shut up! Hey. Mr. Mweke, I hear say you they like movie, horror movie for that matter. Uh, it's not eh? We will play live show for you for your make you see and for your two eyes. Please. You see now, who want to kill you? Na twenty one inches. Please. God, we will play cassette for them now. Ah. Please, 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 please. See, Mister Wake, come play around the line. See, your work is to tap wine from the palm tree yes. and not poke nosing into other people's business. Yes, yes. my nah. my work tap tap is only tap for wine. Can you tell me any kill? When. Like seriously, your both parents were shot dead. Yes, my queen. Oh God, they shot them in front of our house. I was helpless. I couldn't do anything. Hi, hi, God. God. Oh, oh my goodness. Hi. This happened in our kingdom. Your Majesty. How? Hi. My daughter. Like the queen said. Calm down, okay? Uh, the, the news of um, the gruesome murder of Mwike broke this morning. And judging from what your father told you, it appears it's the same people that committed the crimes. But if I may ask, did you recognize any of them? No, no, my king. Immediately they shot my parents. I realized someone was there, they came after me. I had to run for my life because when they noticed I was there, they started pursuing me. Oh, it's good. Lord, God, why have you made me an orphan? Why have you made me an orphan, God? What am I not to deserve this? Who do I have again, God? What am I going okay, it's to okay. do? It's okay. Oh, my God. You know, my, I may not have lost my own parents in a gruesome manner like you did. But trust me, I know how you feel. But we have a way of coming to terms with all this. Just calm down, everything will be fine. Um, it's alright, my daughter. Hmm? Calm down, okay? Um, everything will be fine, alright? But in the meantime, um, you have to stay with us. Uh, yes, because the sick woman come back for you. Yeah. All right? Thank you, my the, king. The, the rest are sure that uh, they will be apprehended and dead with a coding. Okay? Oh, no. Rebecca, oh, take I... her to one of the oh. guest rooms and uh, ensure that she's properly taken care of. Your Majesty, let us sign the maid to keep her company. I know she will need it this period. Hi! Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, what is happening? This is what is happening? Oh, what is happening? Oh, what is happening? Oh, what is happening? Oh, what is this? <laughs> I've lost everything. Everything. Ah. 
If only my parents had heed to my advice. <sighs> Look at me. I've lost my parents. My admission. <laughs> Everything I have. I'm being intimidated simply because I'm a commoner. I have no one to speak for me. If my parents were here, things would have been different. But who am I? Who do I know? What do I have? God, why me? Why me? Why me? Oh. She's on. She's on high doing here alone in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. She's on your crying. She's on. The other day, I caught you crying and I tried to get you to talk to me. You refused. And today you're doing the same thing. Who oh, bothers you, my dear friend? You can talk to me. What is it? Not She's so. Believe me, Father, I'm telling you the truth. Fine. I know I acted wrongly by accepting it. But I tell you the truth, it's not mine. I don't know where that came from. Leonard. Yes, Father. The only reason you have the opportunity to stand here and spew out this rubbish from your mouth is because your mother intervened. Left for me, you would have been in the net of the Drug Law Enforcement Agency by now. Excuse me? Now, you have your mother to thank for it. You tested my patience to the limits. As for your plea for clemency, it has fallen on a hard rock. There are consequences for your actions. Do we need to do this, Father? Will you just keep quiet? I'm not done talking. That first, your smoking, your incessant smoking in this house must stop immediately. Secondly, you are grounded. No more allowances for you for the next three months. What? Oh, come on, you can do that, Father. You know I have no job. How do you expect me to cope without my allowance? Whose fault is it? No, tell me whose fault is it? Go and sort yourself out. Now leave my presence. Come on, Father. We can sort this out. We, 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 you Will you know? shut up? One more way from you, you will regret ever being my son. Now get out from here. Shut up! You prodigal son. Now get out! Prodigal son. Leonard, I'd like you to crave some indulgence and let us talk. You know, if you were not daft enough, you would have noticed I ignored you. Hmm? And for how long? Leonard, for how long? Don't you think this should stop? I noticed. Which brings me to the question. Are you enjoying this? Are you seriously enjoying this? And for how long are we going to do this? Well, this 
It's the best way to leave it bugs like you. I see what you're doing. You're here acting like an angel. Now I'm making everyone in this parlor see me like the devil. But guess what? I will act my name accordingly. Get that into your head. You know, there's no problem in the world that cannot be circumvented, meaning there is no problem that cannot be solved. Whatever it is between us can always be resolved. Come on, my brother, come on. We're brothers, we're twins for crying out loud. That is my greatest punishment from God. <sighs> to think that we spent nine months together in the same room gets me mad. And of course, you know I hate to be reminded of that. Now, Frederick, or whatever you call yourself, leave my side now. Before I create a scene, both of us will regret. You know, if we're going to count mathematically, we're twins. You and I, one plus one will always remain one. We're brothers. Yo! What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Get the fuck out of my sight! I choose majority. Oh, fuck that! Jazz, nigga. Oh my goodness. Jisun, your temperature is really high. When did this start? This morning. Have you taken any pills yet? Not yet. What are you waiting for? Do you realize how high your temperature is? <sighs> Please help me get some brass number from the palace for us eight box, please. You need brass uh, mm. Okay, don't worry, I'll bring it right now. Mm. I will no longer cry. Mm. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I wanted to do it earlier, but the, His Majesty was there. I just noticed he's no longer there. I wouldn't want to hear such story again. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Why is Chisum? I've not seen her since the morning. Your Majesty, Chisum is very sick. Yes, Are you girls kept it to yourselves? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Where is she? She's at the back of the house. Go get her for me. Okay, I'm yes. Wait. Take me to her. Okay, I'm yes. yes. Wait. No, no, no. Oh, it's it is. I'm clean. Jason, what is wrong with you? Uh, I don't know. We started this morning. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Her temperature is very high. Yes. Are you kept it to yourself? I'm sorry. Hey. So sorry. Call the guard immediately. Okay. So that you'll come take her to the hospital. Oh. So, so sorry. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. So sorry. Greetings, Your Majesty. You sent for me. Yes, I did. Take her to the hospital immediately. Okay, Your Majesty. Mm. Help him. Mm. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, Sorry. Ah. 
Have you suddenly gone deaf? Dumb or both? Who got you pregnant in my palace? Your Majesty, are you petting this girl? Hey! Talk now, I will slap the living daylight out of you. Who is responsible for your pregnancy? Am I not talking to you? Speak! Hi! You! Are you not a silly maiden I asked to see me in my chambers the other day? I am, my friends. Really? And so you decided to keep me? The prince! I happen to the truth. Wait. Uh, I'm so sorry, my prince. I was actually very And who told you I'm interested in your silly, flimsy excuses? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for your miserable self. Now go in there and make sure my chambers is clean. Alright. Hi. I mean now. Right now. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done. Let me just get done with the work first. Do my job and leave at once, please. Wow. Your body's so soft. My face. Mm -hmm. You'll be so freaking sweet on bed. Please, please. So don't do this to me, please. Allow me to finish my job. <laughs> Listen. It's either you relax. Or let's do this. Gently. Or well, do this the hard way. No. Please. There's no one in the house. The palace is empty. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Please don't do this to me. We have to. We have to. Please. 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 If I ever hear this outside, I promise you I'll skin you alive. Now get out! <laughs> you is a bad boy. Oh, <laughs> 
Please stop. This is not the end of your life now. Stop. I pleaded with him to leave me alone. I did. Oh, he wouldn't listen. Jesus, I know. Even if no one else believes you, I do. I know. I know it's not your fault. Please stop. Please can you calm down? I know. Trust me, you'll be fine again. What? <laughs> It's okay, you'll be fine again. When? Hi, Jesus. Oh, stop. God. You'll be fine. How could you? How could you be this monstrous, evil child? Mom. Mom, what? Y'all are not listening to me. How the hell do you expect me to rape that dirty pig? She has no proof. You know, you're so shameless. You're so shameless. Emeka, no matches. Give me my food. Your Majesty, who do you want to call? You will know when they arrive. Majesty, please, I beg you, my husband. I beg you, please. Don't. I beg you. I beg you. Don't do it. Would you want us to get out of the palace? Would you? But I cannot allow this rapist to remain in my palace. I mean, this is the height of it. I cannot be tolerated nor condoned. But I didn't rape her. I didn't. Shut your mouth. Will you shut up that your stupid lousy mouth? Your Majesty. Your Majesty, this will be highly scandalous. So should when you get out of this palace to the public, let alone to the press. What are we going to do? Please don't. Are you think it will not get to them eventually? Well, no problem. Even if they get to know about it, it's regarded as rumor. But you taking him this matter out of the palace, that will be a confirmation of what happened. Please, I beg you, don't do it. Sit down. Now, let me ask you this. If Chisong was to be your daughter, would you say the same thing? I thought as much. Your Majesty, everything I'm saying, I'm not saying it in the favor of Leo. What I'm saying is, give him any punishment you think he deserves. But don't take this out of the palace. I'm saying this because of the throne. Let us collectively protect the throne. I beg you. Well, I will only condone this rapist if and only if Chisom willingly let go within the next two weeks. No one, I repeat, no one should cajole her into making the decision. <sighs> that baby she's carrying is a royal blood and cannot be rejected. Neither can it be raised outside this palace. Therefore, Chisom will deliver that baby in this palace as Lena's wife. I have spoken. Father. Shut up! I have spoken! Rapist. That should be a rapist. Idiot. I really think you're. This is scary. This is actually a team at Nassau. You guys got to be kidding me, mother. 
Of course you know I wouldn't do that. How the hell do you expect me to settle for a commoner? You didn't know she was a commoner? When you forced yourself on her. Forced myself? Of course! Oh no, mother. It's not as if I raped her. She seduced me. Really? Yes, really! <laughs> Leonard, in your high hers, you allowed a commoner, a low life, to seduce you? Really? Mom, the point here is, I did nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did nothing. The point here is that you stand to face a jail term. If you fail to bring Chisholm on your side before the time your father gave you a lapsus. You can't be serious about that, mother. Really? What are you saying? You're telling me that the fate of the prince now lies on the laps of a common maid? Made possible by an irresponsible prince. Yes, who is proven to be a shame, a disgrace to royalty. Mother. Don't mother me. Yes, you brought this upon yourself. And you're going to face all the consequences that come with it. Listen, the earlier you try to do everything your father asked you to do, the better for you because he gave you a favorable condition. Nonsense. Oh. Excuse me. Mother, 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 mother. Tell me about it. I'm sorry, my queen. He warned me severally not to speak to anyone about it, else he will kill me. But you could have confided in me. I always had your backs, all of you. That should have given you the confidence to talk to me. My queen, but I'm just a commoner. I'm just a palace maid. I'm nobody. Was that why I wanted to leave the palace? Yes. I wanted to go far away from this place. It's okay. So how do you feel now? I feel terrible. I feel worse. I feel ashamed of myself. I'm broken. I'm not feeling all right at all. It's okay. Wipe your tears. Go to your mouth, send for you later. Thank you, my queen. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Thank you, my queen. Excuse me. Let me educate your ignorance a little bit. You see, integrity and morality. Morality and integrity, two of them go together. They are enlaced with royalty. Now you see, a royal must be one who must be able to carry himself with some kind of poise, class, finesse that must depict his stature and his nature. You understand me? His status must depict class, finesse and of course vigor. Now you understand this is something that must also go in line with divinity, royalty and dignity. You see these three traits must come together as one to be embodied in somebody that must be a royal. And too, 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 too bad that these traits are things that are far, 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 far away from you. They mean absolutely nothing to you. When you're done speaking English, you can pick your silly self out of my sight. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why would you stoop so god a dirty low? So low! To raping a maid. How dare you? How dare I tell you this? 
And attitude like this, this is your silly, dirty, low-life attitude is the reason father keeps you away from the family affairs and of course the company affairs as well, yes. Now you see, one thing is this, nobody hates you at all, but you see this, your attitude is what makes everybody pissed off because we correct you when you're way, way out of mark. That's exactly the point. All thanks to you. Nobody hates you. The only silly witty problem you have in this life is you. You are your own problem. Now, Father has given an order and I hope you're ready to carry out this order to the latter. He who goes hunting must be able to carry that animal he hunted and killed back home. I would have asked the maker to come pass this information across to you all. But I came myself to ensure you all carry this in instruction to the letter. Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. Forthwith, Chisum here has been relieved of her duties as a chief maid in this palace. She will no longer be in this palace to serve, but to be served. Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Her position has not been verified yet, but in the interim, accord her all the respect you would give to a princess. Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. And any violation to this instruction, we have me to contend with. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. My darling, excuse me. Thank you. I'll see you later. Greetings, my queen. Greetings. Sit. Thank you, my queen. Someday I pray I will no longer cry. Why are you still in your uniform? Why haven't you changed? My queen, I am... Oh, oh. I know you are still overwhelmed with the happenings in the palace. It's normal. Jesus, I've always loved you. And I know you are aware of it. Because you're a very intelligent, amazing girl. Beautiful in and out. I've always seen you as a daughter I never had. Thank you so much, my queen. I feel so honored and loved. Thank you. You're welcome. I... You see, because of your mother's diligent services in this palace, your late mother, which you are aware of, she was an amazing person as well. That was why we asked to bring you here to stay with us after your father's death. And all this while, your stay here has been nothing short of wonderful. You've been wonderful in every aspect of it. I sincerely do not know what to say, my queen. Say nothing. Thank you, my queen. Say nothing. I know you'd be surprised but I was sure of love. It's no gimmick. It's a real thing. This may shock you as well. I once asked the king to adopt you to be our legally adopted daughter because we love you so much. That is why my heart broke because of what my son did to you, Prince Leonard. I am so sorry. But if you ask me, I will tell you, fate played a part as well. It's okay. I know it will feel strange, but I feel your pain. I know what you're going through. I understand perfectly. It's okay. My queen. 
It's the worst experience I've ever had in my life. I wish it never happened. I wish. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is why I want you to enjoy the every minute of the moment. I want you to live your life like the princess. If that will be your decision, I would love it so much. It's okay. Thank you. Don't cry. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your drink. Now tell me, what else do you want me? How do you want us to live here? Because you're not part of us. Don't cry. Thank you. May God bless you for me. You've always shown me undiluted love. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Long live my queen. I said long live my mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you still remember these things? Of course I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gave me a run for my money. But uh, you were too uptight. <laughs> and that's practically endeared me to you. That is true. So can I ask you a question? Of course you can. You have my audience. Thank you. Why do you insist Leonard must marry Chisum? That is the right thing to do. He cannot put her in the family way the way he did and abandon her. Besides, the baby she is carrying in her stomach has royal blood. I know what that means. But if I may ask, why do I see worry in your face? I thought you liked her. That's exactly why I'm worried. I like her a lot. That girl is too beautiful and intelligent to be someone's punishment. Even though I had always wanted her to be part of the royal family, but not like this. That was why when you declined adopting her, I secretly hoped that one of the twins would see her as a wife material, especially Frederick. Even though I didn't talk them into it, I wanted it to come naturally. But I'll be happy if she gets married to Leonard. But not as a punishment. I want it to come naturally. They fall in love. They love each other and they get married. But not this. No punishment. Far from it, my queen. Admittedly, it looks like punishment. But it goes beyond that. I mean, she's some is every man's dream for a wife. And I believe that her calm nature and intelligence will have positive influence on Leonard. I think what we should concern ourselves with right now is what her decision would be. Because I will not go back on my earlier pronouncement. I just wish she would make the best decision. Thank you so much. But if I may ask, why did you say Chisom would be any man's dream wife? You mean you heard that? Of course I heard that. <laughs> This is 11 days since father said he will hand me over to the police if Chisum didn't ask him not to after two weeks. And am I supposed to stoop so low as to ask a common maid for forgiveness? That's impossible. But how could father give such powers to a maid over his son this man never loved me for once. 
and he will certainly carry out his threat at the expiration of the two weeks ultimatum. I can't afford to have my name published in the National Daily's newspaper as a rapist. God forbid. I know this is hard, but I have to find a way to talk to that idiot. Rubbish. My prince, so this is all you have to say to me. And what else would you want me to say to you? Why would you allow yourself to get pregnant? Are you that daft? So, I have something to do. And you now have the gods to walk out on me? Well, I see my father has added so much feathers to your wings and now you think you can fly higher than the eagle. Huh? Many birds can fly higher than the eagle if not for a weak and scanty feathers afforded to them by nature. Oh! Now I see the reason for the sudden surge of gods. But I tell you, so much feather will hinder the flight of so many birds. Go and ask the ostrich how high it can fly. My prince, the ostrich loves the beautiful side of life. It gathers its feathers for beautification. But I bet you all birds are not like the ostrich. I promise you, one day, one day, I will clip your feathers. But for now, go and tell my father to, to jail you for taking advantage of my innocence. Simply because I'm a mess servant and a woman? You wouldn't dare. Really? My prince, tell me, what exactly are you scared of? <laughs> All of a sudden, the lion is scared of the prey it once feasted on, right? Excuse me, my prince. I don't blame you. I blame my father for this. A good man he is. A reputable, honorable king he is. Every reasonable, sensible, responsible son should be proud of a man like our king. You don't deserve him as a father. Excuse me, my prince. but it can be Yeah. Stop now, you're hurting me now. What is it again? You are the problem. What is the problem? What have I done? You are the problem. Have you forgotten what today is? Today is Thursday. What is special about today? God punished that thing you call them out. Today is the last day of my father's ultimatum. And I have reliably gathered that you have done nothing yet. Why? I have done something, my prince. And that is to sit and watch you pay for your sins. You are not there. Um, um, oh, fuck um, you up. Oh, good. Are you mad? I'll be gentle with her by now if I were you. Greetings, my prince. Jisum, are you okay? Yes, my prince. Thank you. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Thank you. Yes, Your Majesty. This is what I want. Um, did you make this decision out of your own volition or 
you were influenced by someone else. I made the decision myself because it's what I want. But Queen Mother here influenced my decision too. You mean the Queen cajoled you into making this decision? No, Your Majesty. I don't mean it that way. From the first day I stepped my foot in this palace, she has shown me nothing but undiluted love, mm. care, concern. She has treated me like a mother. I know Prince Leonard hasn't shown any remorse for this awful act. But at the same time, I wouldn't want you to put the fate of your son in the hand of an ordinary maiden like me. The Queen's love, concern and care has helped me tremendously. I am healing my King. Thank you so much, my Queen. Chai, you're welcome, my dear. Um, Chisom, uh, I would like to ask you this. How about settling down with Prince Leonard? Your Majesty, I know why you had to make that decision. But every pregnancy must not end in marriage. I have no feelings for Prince Leonard and I'm sure he doesn't have any idea of feelings for me too. Such marriage could experience hiccups or early breakup. I want to marry a man who would love me, cherish me, adore me. He must not be from a royal family. As an orphan, my happiness and peace is very sacrosanct to me. And the importance of that can never be overemphasized. Hmm. My daughter, you've spoken wisely. I can understand everything you say. But what about the pregnancy? Of course. Prince Leonard is the father of my unborn child. Nothing will change that. I'd like to ask for a favor. It's all right. Um, go ahead. What is it? I'd like to stay away from the palace. I have no Why? Are you not happy here? Okay, is there something you don't really like about us? We can change. No, my queen. Far from that. I am very happy here. As a matter of fact, this is my heaven on earth. For me to heal completely, I need to stay away from Prince Leonard. Please, it will help me. Please. It's alright. Uh, I've heard you, my daughter. Okay? The Queen and I will um, have a proper discussion on this. And uh, whatever we decide, I'll get back to you. Thank you so much, my king. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You may leave. Thank you. Long live your highness. Long live my queen. She's such a wise king. Thank you, man. Why is he with her? That fool was even relaxed. 
What game is he trying to play this time? Hmm. Frederick. Frederick. Why am I even so worried? Do I even have to care what she does with her useless life? Rubbish. Your Majesty. Long be you reign. Yes, sir. My elders, I greet you. Well, you my chiefs and I have come, you know, over a concern of an issue that could um, lead to, you know, some problems in the kingdom. Um, Igwe, it's been eight months since your sons came back you know, from their sojourn abroad. And up to now, we, we still have not um, been briefed on who is our heir apparent. What is the problem? Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. My elders, I, I greet you. Oh no, you have spoken well. Um, first of all, I would like to commend your patience. It is true that uh, you've asked me severally who my successor will be, that is the heir to the throne. And uh, I asked you to give me time to be able to make the right decision. Uh, I am happy to announce that uh, I have finally made up my mind as to who will be the crown prince. <laughs> uh, that's, uh... That's a good development. Uh, so, um, I think Prince uh, Leonard should jet up to take up his position as Crown Prince of this kingdom. <laughs> um, oh no. Prince Leonard will not be the Crown Prince. Igwe. Who then becomes the Crown Prince? Prince Frederick is the Crown Prince. Frederick will be the crown prince of this kingdom, and the reason is not far-fetched. Yes, uh, come to think of it, why should the first child now become the last? I mean, <laughs> I question that tradition. Why, why should the last child now be the crown prince? Have you asked yourself that question? Is it fair? Your Majesty, it has been our belief that the last born of any set of twins, being the eldest, ask the younger to come out first and see things while he comes afterwards. This has been our belief and practice since time immemorial. So why make a case of this now, Your Majesty? The, the, the question you should be asking is, what is the significance of such belief? I mean, how can the last child now become the first and the first the last? Is it fair? Yes. I know where this is coming from. If Prince Leonard had been in Prince Frederick's shoes, character-wise, would you now attempt to rewrite the history? Oh no, you have said it all. Your question is apt. And as a matter of fact, that was why I am taking this stand that I'm taking right now. If Prince Leonard is in the same shoes with Prince Frederick, character-wise, is that not what you said? 
But is it not obvious that they are not in the same shoes, both character-wise and better, right? So, what are we talking about? Igwe, we know Prince Leona and how he behaves. But our fathers have made him king in waiting, and there is nothing any mortal can do about it. Besides, I will not be party to anything that will negate what our forefathers have laid down. Never will I accept it, Igwe. Uh, Your Majesty, what we are saying is that as a people, we have a tradition that guides us and it must be respected. I'm going to think of it. Have we considered how Prince Leonard will react to this, knowing who he is? You are asking how Prince Leonard will react to this. In the same vein, have you asked how Prince Frederick will react to it? No, tell me. He is the first child. Now you are considering how Prince Leonard will react without considering how he, the firstborn, will react. Is that fair? Look, I am the king. And it is my responsibility to right any wrong that is being practiced in this kingdom. From this moment, I am going to correct the wrongs and I am starting with this one. My decision is final on this. I have spoken. Igwe. Uh, you see, it baffles me that the key. As a custodian of our culture and tradition, we attend such abomination. What was he thinking? My fellow elders, if we look at it critically, we will see why the king had to take this stance. And rightly so. Prince Leonard that we know had never been an ideal candidate for the throne. We had talked about this before. Uh, and I can still remember if my memories Serve me well. And so, we only express our concerns. But that's his destiny that no one can change, not even the king. Mm. There is no doubt Prince Leonard is an arrogant and irresponsible prince. Uh, personally, I will be happy if he loses that on the throne. And many people will share my sentiment. But that shouldn't be at the detriment of our beautiful culture and heritage. That's what I'm saying. And what about the future of our kingdom? Our fathers and our forefathers had good reasons to believe that the last born of every twin should be considered the eldest. We still have the right to change things if they are no longer beneficial to us. But we should be objective about it. Um, you became a member of the royal cabinet not because you were the richest. Neither were you the most intelligent than every other person. But because of the procedure laid down by our forefathers and their fathers before them, you became one. Now, let's change the scenario. What if we consider it from the point that the richest and the most intelligent takes your position? Although, like I rightly said, we still have the right to change things if they are no longer beneficial to us. Except if I am no longer beneficial to this royal council. Are you? No, tell me. Are you? Uh, no, 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 he has oh, to oh, tell oh, us oh, if he is beneficial to this royal oh, council. Oh, no, please. Oh, no, please. My fellow elders, please let us not trade word over this. Please, let us not quarrel with each other because of this. 
Two wrongs cannot make it right. Prince Leonard is not an ideal prince. We all know that the king has no right to deny him of his birthright. What we should be doing as the elders of this kingdom is to look for a solution to resolve this problem before it turns to something ugly. I think that's what we should be doing here, Prince Tommy. I still maintain my earlier stance that the king has no right he has no right whatsoever to change the kingship succession pattern of this land. And that's final. This is all too rubbish and absolute nonsense. And I will never take it. Never! Hey, you young man. Mind your utterances. You are standing before your king. Oh, don't ask me to mind my utterances. That you mind your actions as well. Huh? I have been sidelined and deprived of my birthright for far too long. But this time, I will take great exception to this injustice. I am the crown prince and nothing can ever change that. Really? Yes, really. Now let me ask you a question, Mr. Crown Prince. Are you the firstborn of the royal family? Oh, father, don't ask me that question. You are the chief custodian of our culture and tradition. And of course you know the answer to that question. So, you have suddenly recognized our culture. You have never ceased to ridicule and violate our culture on a daily basis. The same culture that you have always reminded me of how superannuated it has become and that they needed to be changed. Same culture. The same culture that you consistently refer to as prison? Oh, father, the issue of God here is. You have chosen Frederick over me. And now you want to give him what rightfully belongs to me. Over my dead body. You shut me out of your company. I kept quiet. But now you want to give him what rightfully is mine. I promise you. I will fight that with everything that is in me. Oh. Did I hear you say everything in you? Oh yes! Everything in me! Do you think you have anything in you? Look young man, you are completely empty. A vacuum, that is what you are. If you don't know. Now leave my presence! That's what you're good at. This is what you used to. Shutting me out. But I'll tell you this. I am a lion that can never be tamed. <laughs> Lie on my foot. You call yourself a lion. Get out, idiot. I am a lion. Lie on me. You are the superpower. No one is born with the positive passion. Because this power. Singulated by inspiration. It's singulated by inspiration. Love, a strange, mm, but that's the 
To be, to be different on this issue because our people say an elder will not stay at home and watch a goat deliver in tethers. And our forefathers believed that the last of the set of twain should be considered as a first. And that has been the practice for a very long time. And now your stance you know, we, 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 we not only rub molds on the wisdom of our, of our forefathers, but could snowball into consequences that we may not be able to contend with, my way. Well, um, I want to thank you very much. I'm happy with the trites that you used. And that is exactly why I am in the particular stance that I have right now. You see, in the days of our forefathers, the last of the set of twins they had displayed reasonable wisdom and they exhibited um, qualities that uh, people can be proud of and that was why they upheld such a tradition. But things have changed. They are not as they were right now. So we must change with the change. We can't practice those old tradition anymore because obviously, like I said, things have changed. Uh, uh, your Majesty, you see, your achievement in this kingdom as a king cannot be compared to any other. And we all love and trust your leadership capacity and competence, but this is different. Because we are talking about the belief of our people, our tradition. Please, do not be angered that you are not getting the expected support from us. Because this matter is sensitive. And uh, I hope that uh, this your initiative is not based on preference. Because this matter is purely traditional. It's your work. I want to thank you. You see, there is no way I will be angry with you. So it's not a question of anger. I am a king. I am a leader. I am not a ruler. That is why if I have any initiative, I always try to sell it to you, my cabinet members. And I carry you along in whatever I do. Sometimes I will go down to the level of trying to sell it to my subjects before I implement any initiative. So I don't want to rule, I want to lead. The set of twins we're talking about, they are both my sons and I love them equally. Granted, Leonard has exhibited some attitudes that are not really pleasurable that we frown at. But I still love him like my son. Okay? So it's a question of doing the right thing. 
are not a question of preference. I hope you all understand that point. Oh, I wonder why they are talking like this, as if they don't know what the situation is. I support you, my Igwe. Thank you. Okay, listen to this. What if, in the nearest future, we are again privileged to have two male twins? One becomes irresponsible and wayward. What happens? Now, are we going to revert to the old ways or continue with this so-called new way? Oh no. If things had worked the way they're supposed to work, I don't think we'll be discussing this subject. All right? So this discussion is uh, up now because uh, of the exigency of the day. Look, I, I am a king. Not just a king that will uphold the culture and tradition of our people, but like a, a captain of a ship that will steer the ship in the right direction. All right? So it is not just enough for me to be remembered as someone or a king that was very wealthy, you know, like the encomiums that uh, Ichonwa poured on me earlier. Uh, and that is it. No. I should also be seen as a king who has left a very good legacy. So I, I should also be seen as a king who has built a very good foundation for my successor to build on. So it is my responsibility to ensure that I leave a good successor that will not uh, jeopardize the safety of our kingdom. So that is exactly what I'm doing. I hope you do understand. I see. Well, it looks like some people are drinking to celebrate their accomplishment. Right? You know what water you all about. What the fuck? Did you, did you just call my name? Did you just fucking call my name? Yes, I called your name. Have you gone bonkers? Are you okay? Are you all right? Are you really bonkers? What? If I'm bogus, well, I'll tell you. Yes, I have fucking gone bogus. Hi. Who's the fucking joke on right now? You not. You not. Shut the fuck up before I put a bullet in your head. What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? You want to know the meaning of this? Do you want to fucking know the meaning of this? Yes, my dear. We are very fine. How is she doing? Ah, uh, she's fine. Oh, she's sleeping. I would have loved to talk to her, at least to hear her voice. Shut the fuck up before I put a bullet in your head. Is that not Prince Luna's voice I'm hearing? What's going on there? Leonard! Father, what does it look like to you? You tell me. What does it fucking look like to you? I miss her. Wait, wait, wait. I'll call you back. Jesus! 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 You dare bring a gun into my palace? Leonard! Stop! Nobody 
unless you fucking call my name. My son. You all have taken me for a fool for far too long in this palace. And today I say, enough is enough. Put the gun down first. We will toss it at me carefully. Please, my son. There is no shot now, dear. Unless father takes back his words and name me his successor, I will put the bullet in his head. I swear. Just, just say it. No! I don't want to lose any of my sons. Just say it immediately. Let there be peace. Please, I beg you. I will do no such thing. Leonard, if you have balls between your legs, pull that trigger. Pull it! Am I not vindicated after all? And I'm expected to hand over the future of this kingdom to this, this rascal! My love, my husband. My, my prince, you, you just have to... Shut the fuck up! Who the fuck is your prince? Who the fuck is your prince? Get out! All of you, get out! I said get out! All fools! All fools! Look at that! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. I was like, me alone. Hi. Me. Oh no. I now understand why the king doesn't want him to be the crown prince of this kingdom. That boy is mentally unstable. This is a disgrace to my personality. A disgrace to my position as your noble of this kingdom. I will not let it lie. What of you? Hold on. Hey. I don't know when I took one on you. How would I know where he is? Maybe he had taken another route to his house or he has hiding somewhere in the bush. I don't know. Hey. My legs are beginning to hurt me. Can I manage? Oh no. If you keep standing here, people will start asking questions. Eh? To be embarrassed, just manage and get to the house. I got for letter now. Eh? We'll see later. Detective, I've done nothing. My father here tried to rob me of my inheritance and I only tried to retrieve it. That's all. Prince Leonard. Yo. Where is the gun now? Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. Bro. Prince Leonard, I would like to know where you kept the gun. I said I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Okay. Yes, Majesty. Take the detectives to Prince Leonard's room. Search everywhere, thoroughly, for the gun. Yes, yeah. Majesty. Officers. So. Okay, sir. Yes. You don't fuck my stuff, all right? Wait. Press me. My father's house. Alright, Sergeant. So. I'm not sure you sat very well. Okay, sir. Over there. Sat very well. Over there, over there, sir. What is that? All right. 
Please do. Please go. Thank you. You mean you disrupted the peace of this palace with a toy gun? Or do you have to fight it as a real gun? No. Prince Leonard. Yo. You still have to come with us to the station for questioning. Oh, what did that mean? The sad gun I was accused of was a toy gun. Yes. Did you get it? I know it's a toy gun. But you harass people with it. If you must know, it's an act of terror and constitution of domestic nuisance. It is an offense on its own, punishable by law. So you must come with us to the station. No, detective. You don't need to take him. Besides, the, 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 it was a toy gun. And it didn't mean any harm. That was why he used it to probably scare people in me. It didn't hurt anyone. Seriously, understand your point. But creating an undue panic in the palace with a deadly weapon. It is look or alike. It is a huge offense. And he still had to come to the station. Uh, or he can only be released in his majesty so. Yo, man. Yo, 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 Shut up! Can we talk? What is that? Yo, 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 You have to move me here. Okay. I don't know it. No way. Prince Leonard, with all due respect, with all due immunity covers that covers you. You don't want me to use force on you. What? Yo! Come on, bro! Can you come Let's go, down? bro! Don't stop that! Let's go! Stop! Let's go. I'll ensure you are in this immediately. Trust me. Just go with them. And don't make trouble. Before they use force on you. Detective, please take it easy on me. I will be honest. Please. You don't act like I'm under arrest or something. Can you keep quiet and go with them calmly? Oh, he was just making the hand like that. Like, oh, let's go. Bro. Thank you, man. Let's go. Wow. And what are you doing here? Then you don't talk. Leonard. What were you thinking? You went too far this time. It's all father's fault. All of this wouldn't have happened if father did not attempt to give my birthright to his favorite son. You're still opening your mouth to wash on blames. And then take responsibility for such an out behavior from you? You're fighting out of it. Even though I do not fully support your father on this. Because your father wouldn't have attempted to make Frederick his heir. If not for your rascally behavior. Mother, I have done nothing wrong. Yes. Everyone, especially father, wants me to mirror Frederick's lifestyle, which I refused. That's the pinnacle of father's hatred towards me. Sometimes listen to yourself talk. You talk like a child. You're so reasonable. Yes, each day that passes by, you move to justify the father's action by changing the narrative of this land. With your misguided utterances and ill-mannered behaviors. Look at the elders today. They fully do not support your father on his stance. But what did you do? You embarrassed the living daylight out of them. Look at you! So this is how you're going to be king? It's father's fault. Really? And I'll keep saying it, it is father's fault. 
He has made my paths to the throne slippery, dark and filled with thorns. But I promise you, I will cross that Rubicon and come out uncarted. You not be lucky another time because I will not support you. I will join them to kick you in the head. So this is how you're going to do it. Thinking from back to forth. Right? Excuse me. What have I done wrong? Frederick. You were obviously lucky the last time, but I promise you, you will not the next time. Because I will surely deal with you. You will deal with me. With another toy gun, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Do not elude yourself. You see, I thought you were smart. But unfortunately, you're far from being smart. Well, I think that actually describes you, but I ask this question, what actually do you mean? Uh, Deep you. Yes. Send your men to my palace immediately. Yes, urgently. There is a situation here, yes. Now. Okay. Take your fucking call, bro. Take your fucking call, bro. Yo! What's up, bro? Hey, 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 hey! Shut the fuck up! And listen! I'm a dipshit, bro. I want you to do this. Go to the nearest gun shop around you and buy a toy gun. One that looks like my gun. You know what I'm saying? And bring it to me in the next 10, 15 minutes. Else, I'm a dipshit. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yo. Now tell me, who's the smart one here now? Who's the smart one here now? Toby! Surprised? So, you will now describe yourself as smart, isn't it? Of course I am! And will continue to outsmart you. Frederick. Hi. Hey, I'll tell you this one time. Very soon, I will take over our father's company and then recover my position as heir apparent to the throne. Trust me, if taking you down will be the only way to this, then I promise you, I will gladly take your life from you. You don't threaten me. Threaten you. Leo, you threaten me.
is this possible? What happened? How? What happened? Mother, what do you mean by what happened? Ma. My son. You are weak. Nothing, everything is fine, trust me. So how are you feeling now? Weak. I know. Very weak. I can't even feel my legs. Don't worry, let me quickly get the doctor. Trust me, you'll be fine. Please, ma'am, go get the doctor. This cannot be possible. It's not possible. I'd like to have a word with you. the silence. Doc, see something. It's Frederick. We found a little problem in your lumbar vertebra. I don't understand. What has that got to do with my impaired movement? The bullet affected the nerves that supply sensation to your lower limb. And that's the reason the legs are numb. Does that mean my son will not walk again? Well, not exactly, Your Majesty. It's only going to be temporary. Doctor. So when will he walk again? Well, there is no time frame attached to that, Your Majesty. Sensation returns sooner or later. And in this case, I believe it's going to be sooner than later with the help of the medication that we have placed him on. But till then, I would advise he uses a wheelchair. <sighs> Doctor, don't lie to us. Tell me if it's possible, if you walk again, be emphatic. Don't lie about it. Well, Your Majesty, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. This is a matter of when and not if. Patience is just all we require at the moment. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Please excuse me. Fred, please don't be like this. Like she rightly said, you walk again. All hands are on deck. Trust me, my son, everything will be fine. Just calm down, calm down. Everything will be fine. Yeah. Thank God. We'll come back.
I didn't do it. Now, boss, I'm going kill him. We don't move kill him fast. We don't get time. Hey, kill him. relax. You know, say we will kill him for here. We go carry and go go back junction. You understand? And you know, say boss, don't they leave my brother come that side? Eh, and the way, way things take the go, eh? If I say boss, won't make the thing be like saying I'm twin brother kill him. Oh yeah, we'll not get them, we'll eh, kill him now. Eh, we'll go. We'll, we'll kill him fast, fast. We'll go. Leonard wasn't responsible for my kidnap. He was only used as a cover. Now it's all making sense. No wonder a certain number called me on the day of your kidnap. Right in front of father. And ever since that day, the number hasn't been going. <sighs> Frederick. Yes, father. Did you, by any chance, get to know the name of the person behind all this? Well, not at all. Um, they kept referring to the person as boss. Boss. They never called his name or her name. Why would, why would someone want to kill you? And use your brother here as a cover-up. Well, to answer that question, Mom, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I mean, uh, since I regained consciousness, I've tried to put my finger around it, but no. I told you all I was innocent. I told you all I didn't do it. Yet no one believed me. Everyone called me murderer. Yes. Everyone thought you did it because of your questionable character. If the person had succeeded, we wouldn't be having this conversation now. Eh? Because all evidence would have been pointing towards you. Because of you, who you are. Frederick. Yes, Father. I would like to see you later. <laughs> he hasn't seen nothing yet. Uh, of course, he has <laughs> seen quite a lot of episodes from you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Uh, that reminds me. Have you noticed the tension between mom and dad? Yes, it's very strange. I mean, both of them avoid each other all the time. Especially father. He can't even stand the presence of mom. Very strange indeed. Yeah. So here's what, I feel you should, you know, talk to mother while I talk to dad. Yeah, right. Yeah. Father's boy. 
Ah, mommy's boy. I'll do that. <laughs> so how's your leg? Doctor, you're not saying anything. Is anything wrong with my son? Um, not exactly, Your Majesty. I had to call you here first because of the ethics of my profession, so I can hear from you first. But His Majesty will have to hear about it. Doctor, you're confusing me and scaring me at the same time. What is the problem? I'm sorry to ask you this, Your Majesty, but. Are you the biological mother of um, Prince Frederick? What is that supposed to mean? Of course I am. He's a twin brother to Prince Leonard. Is there anything the matter? This is really serious. So who then is his biological father? What? I don't understand. What is the meaning of what you just uttered now? Well... Your genotype is AA. Your husband's genotype is AA. Prince Leonard's genotype is also AA. But Prince Frederick's genotype is AS. So, how come? What is the meaning of that? I don't understand. He is my son. His Majesty is his father. So I don't understand anything you are talking about. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but... That's the situation we have on ground now. Like I said earlier, I wanted us to have this conversation alone first. But I'm afraid His Majesty will still get to know about it eventually. You are getting me confused. What are you talking about? Your Majesty, the test result shows that you, Her Majesty, and Prince Leonard are all genotype AA. But Prince Frederick is genotype AS. You've said that before. But, but the question is, how possible is it? I mean, how can the parents of a set of twins have AA as genotype? And one of the twins is AA and the other one is AS. How possible is that? Well, Your Majesty, it's actually rare, but it's very possible. Have you heard about the word heteroparental to perfect condition? Uh, which, <laughs> which kind of uh, English is that? The grammar is too big for me. Okay. It's the fertilization of a second ovum during the same ostrich cycle as a result of second mating, leading to fetuses of the same age but of different parentage. Look, you are getting me more confused. You? Can you please calm down to my level? Especially so that I will understand, okay? Your Majesty, all I'm trying to say here is what leads to a woman giving birth to twins but of different biological fathers. Doctor, uh, how is that possible? Your Majesty, um, it's actually possible, although in a very rare situation. 
And for this to happen, two things are involved. First, there's a gothic. This happens when a woman releases two eggs at the same time or interval of a um, few days in a reproductive cycle. And that means she ovulated twice. And secondly, it happens when a woman has sexual intercourse with two different men. Wait. This cannot be possible. I married my wife as a virgin. Well, Your Majesty, all I'm trying to explain here is as to why a woman can have twins with different biological fathers. But you can go for a DNA test to be sure, Your Majesty. It's alright. Um, you arrange for the DNA. Um, but don't let any of the princes know about it, okay? Okay, Your Majesty. If that be all for now, I mean, I'd like to take my leave, Your Majesty. Okay. It's alright. Alright. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but the DNA proves my earlier suspicion to be true. We have a case of heteroparental superfect condition here, where the twin shares different paternity. And in this case, Prince Frederick happens to be the odd one. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but you are not the biological father of Prince Frederick. These are wedding nights. In mind that every newly wedded couple look forward to. And I'm here to make that night a very memorable one for us. Come on. Why are you scared? You're my wife. It's alright, okay? You are my wife now. And I don't tend to force you to do this. You know what? I want this to come from your heart. I want to enjoy you as my wife, alright? So don't worry. Just take your time. I love you. Sure, you want to do this? about this before. Come on, you were here this morning when I got a call from the village that I need to be in the village. I never planned for this. But you can find a reason not to go. Baby, we just got married. We're supposed to be going for a honeymoon. I understand. I perfectly understand you. I knew this is what you want to say. Okay? But listen to me. Alright? Let me go to the village. Okay? This has to do with the kinship of my town. And if I don't go, you'll know who my, 
might take away my position. I know you don't want that. Alright? You know what? Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen. Look at me. Let me go. As soon as I come back, we'll go for our honeymoon. We'll go to Dubai. Yeah. We'll go to Dubai? Yeah. Are you serious? Come here. Come here. Thank you, baby. I love you. Mm? I love you too. Mm. You are the best. Alright? Okay. So you are going to take care of your beautiful self for me? Okay. okay. So when I come back, I will do the need. <laughs> That's my baby. Alright. <laughs> Let me run along. Look at me. How do I look? Mm, you look stunning. Are you sure? You look like my king. You see? <laughs> let's, well, let's go. See me after the car. Alright, baby. It's okay. <laughs> how you're going to react over it when you hear about it. So I decided to keep it away from you. That was why I didn't allow you to touch me after the first night. <laughs> the thought of love making sense. Chili shivers down my spine. I hated myself, I was so filthy, I felt so dirty in and out of me. <laughs> I decided to mourn my loss all alone, I suffered alone to see if I could heal. <laughs> I am sorry. Hardly did I know at that point that the bastard has deposited his seed inside of me. I didn't see it coming. 
I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It wasn't intentional in any way. Please, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't see it coming like this. <laughs> Yeah. What last did you hear from Chisong? What? Why do you ask? Do you miss her? <laughs> well, truth be told, of course, yes, I do. You see, my arrogance made me reap her. And yes, I think I feel something for the girl. Are you really the one saying this? Of course, yes. <laughs> Why are you acting like this? This is a matter of the heart. Huh? I think I... I think I love her. Then she was right. <laughs> and what do you mean by that? Well, Chisom confided in me. She said she always knew you had a thing for her. Reason she insisted on leaving the palace that her absence would definitely make you turn around and realize that a whole lot better. Oh my goodness. Was it that evident? Well, of course. Chisom has always been a very intelligent girl. I didn't notice, but she did. Very intelligent. Yeah. You see, the thing is, I miss her right from the very first day she left the palace. Yes. I even wanted to get her number from mom, but hey, <laughs> you know me. I was full of pride. And didn't want to look stupid. Why well, miss her so much? I do. Well, I can always give you a number. Really? Yeah. I'll be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you should stop being egocentric. You just own up to... Oh, my God. No, seriously, I just can't wait to tell her everything. I mean, tell her... Oh, my God. My God. Very what is it? My God. What is it? It's him. The, 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 the guy, the, the guy who, who, who kidnapped me. It's him. Are you sure it's this guy? Yes! Then I have to call the detective right away. I have to call him right away. What? Yes, detective. Listen. Are you ready to talk? Or should I come see you? Now tell me, who hired you to kidnap Prince Frederick? Who? You don't want to talk, right? I can see you want to take it to a long road before you confess. And I was so glad to kill you on the journey.
good. Go to his house, arrest him immediately, and bring him to the palace. Good. What? <laughs> it better not be. To feast on me. Oh no. My patience is beginning to run out. Speak! I was... I was only trying to take what rightfully belonged to me. Mm -hmm. What is rightfully yours? Oh, give me into your words. What are you talking about? When... When... When, when Igwe died, he didn't have an heir. So it was my late father that was supposed to be the, the, the next to go. But you were crowned instead. What are you trying to say? My late father, you know, was supposed to be the king. But mysteriously, you just came into the picture. My late father believed you, 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 you used money to buy to buy the throne, and he made me to promise to to, to make to make sure I I I I I, I, I got it back to, to, to our family. I bought my crown. Really? So why waiting now? Why waiting now before you reclaim? What is rightfully yours? I, I made several attempts in the past. I, 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 I didn't succeed. I only took advantage of recent developments. Recent event. So, what happened? When I couldn't capitalize on your kick against the old tradition, a better opportunity kept knocking. I discovered that, you know, there was a big hatred between Leonard, Prince Leonard, and he wanted to kill Prince Frederick. So I had to, like, I had to, I had to take that road. So it would be that it was Frederick that killed Leonard, Prince Leonard. So that, uh... The cabinet would pass a vote of no confidence on me with the excuse that I couldn't keep my home together. Then you would be sworn in as the next king, right? Well, if you had done that, you would have failed. Even if you had succeeded, it would have been fruitless. It might interest you to know that I already have a grandson. Your father decided to wrestle the kinship with me because I was young and inexperienced. But he failed. And you decided to fulfill the axiom like father, like son. So that you can take off your past. And he failed again. You have failed again. Mr. Okafo, you are not fit to be the Onowu of this kingdom. You are hereby scrapped of your title as the Onowu of this kingdom. You are also hereby banished from this kingdom forever. Emeka, take his cap from his head. Remove it. Are you trying to be fanciful about it? No, Majesty. Are you getting away? Is. So, take him away. Get away. Shoo, 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 out. What are you waiting for? Leave. Uh, uh. What is, uh, uh, I'll see the stomach. You need bribe me, Zuri. 
Seriously. Seriously, I have lost it. I have lost it. Oh, stop. This is how you would have lost your life. I would have lost my freedom and father would have lost the throne. All because of me. No. Now I see how bad I was. Come on, stop being so hard on yourself, okay? Stop. Well, no is responsible for all these actions. This has absolutely nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. Didn't you hear what he said in there? He said he saw my foolishness as an opportunity to strike. Which means I brought this upon us. Yes! I brought this upon us. I am the reason for all of this. Yeah, but the truth of the matter is that you never planned evil for anybody. You made your mistakes, yes, but you planned no evil for anybody. Or no is responsible for all of this, all right? As a titled man, he should have known better, okay? Trust me, he's going to pay for everything he did to us. I promise you he's going to pay. He will pay. Hey, hey, please, please, just, just let this slide, okay? Just let... God, the law, and Father handle this. These three entities, let them handle everything, alright? Lead us not into temptation will always be a better prayer than deliver us from evil. Please. What is that supposed to mean? That we should just, just lay low, okay? Let, let's go have some drinks. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's alright, that's let's you who saying no, this. No, just let it go, let it slide. How long are we going to continue with like this? I have taken up my time to explain everything to you. <laughs> but you have refused to understand. <laughs> An old wound has been reopened. And I am hurting so, so much. Yet you pay deaf ears to it. As if I do not exist. Still, it's still me. It's still me, I've not changed. Why do you not treat me like a plague? You avoid me on any slightest chance. My Lord, I know you. I know deep down your heart, you're hurting as well. But why have you chosen to be silent when you have a whole lot to say? Me. Why make me go through this all over again? Why make me bleed from the same injury that has made me so depressed over the years? Why are you punishing me for a cry I'm a victim of? I can't have to bear to protect you from all of it. Do you know what it means to be raped by a random man? Do you know what I had to go through every night just to... I had no friend. I couldn't bring myself to tell you. I had to go through that pain all all over, all over, all by myself. Uh, nowhere, no one, nowhere to go, no one to share it with, not even you. You are going about the whole thing as if it was my fault. I didn't plan it. I didn't know it was going to happen. Maybe I, I would want you would want me to go away so that the shame will no longer be there. <laughs> and I have brought you so much shame. 
and you can't afford to look me in the eyes anymore. It's okay. You know, I wouldn't have judged you nor reacted negatively towards you if you had told me. I would have done everything possible to help you pull through. But you chose not to tell me because um, you didn't trust me enough. Now tell me, why did you keep it away from me? My husband, it has nothing to do with trust. I was lost. I was shattered. I was afraid of the impact the incident will have on our young marriage. I started to bear the brunt. At least to help out at that point in time. I am sorry I didn't tell you. If only you knew what you made me pass through. Everything was fine. We were happy. Just a short trip to the village. Everything went south. You, you turned... Is it turned? You actually transformed into a total stranger. You, 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 you made me pass through hell. But I was patient. Anyway, it is pointless crying over spilled milk. I saw everything. I saw how hard it was on you. My change of character, my attitude. But there was nothing I could do. Because I was shattered and weak. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Apology accepted. Thank you. What is it? Why the sudden change of face? Did anything happen again? Honey. Yes. It's so strange. I mean, it's just like the movies. A boy that has called me father for 26 years. All of a sudden, he's now another man's son. <sighs> All my life, I have never seen nor heard of a set of twins having different paternity. A woman is worth hate. Especially when the man in question is a criminal and a rapist. But why the real family? Why Frederick? That boy is more than a son to me. Why must it be him? Nobody deserves to be in that position, my husband. I don't know why God allowed this to befall our family. But instead of all sitting here to ask questions and complain, let us look for the solution. What do we do? Do we tell him? Not now. Of course, we'll have to tell him eventually. We will... We will look for the best way to let him know. But in the meantime, we have to make sure we keep it away from everyone, including him.
is going to be BMW this time. Yes, because I'm uh, Dad! Mom! Why are you so excited? <laughs> what is it? Guess what, guys? What? She soon just took my call. Oh my goodness. And um, she has forgiven me. And now I have good news. Which is? She just keep bets. <laughs> Whoa! I am a father now. <laughs> Boy or girl? Both male. Set of twins. <laughs> twins! Yes! <laughs> My queen! <laughs> I can't wait to see her. Whoa! This is good news. So, indeed. the sex, the sex, 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 sex of the baby. The both males. The hmm? Both males. Oh, both male. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. you brought back twins again. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Of course, mother. <laughs> of course, I did. Ah, the yes, the girls with praise. I can't wait to see her. Guys, uh, congrats, my son. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. My queen. My queen. Your Majesty. I'm a grandfather. To a set of twins. <laughs> Honestly, I am above. Just up there. Ooh, this is great. 